Hello everyone and welcome to the Summer of Arb Strawberry Showdown. This is the open stage day one. My name is Ellen Jacks and I am joined by Rafnian and I am M Sushi. So excited for you to be here today, Sushi. I am so excited for me to be here as well. All right, and just to give everyone a quick rundown of the format for the Strawberry Showdown here today. Runners starting at 12 p.m. Pacific time here will have three hours to start and reset as many runs as they like. 
And at the end of that third hour, if they have started a run, they have as much time as they're like up to um, 4 p.m. Pacific time to finish it. So an hour after that final bit, they get extra time to finish their run out, but no more resets past that point. Um, and that would be the full length for day one. Day two will have the same thing starting at 9 a.m. Pacific instead. So yeah, yeah it's very then... akin to uh, something like a Twitch Rivals or Break the Record Live. We're going to be going between a ton of different runners who will be all in different areas. You'll see some people in city and some people in court at the same time. And we'll be trying to see who can get the best runs throughout these two days. Yeah, and then after these two days of um, reset sessions, the top 16 players will advance into a uh, double elimination 16 person bracket um, to play out for the champion of the Summer of Art Strawberry Showdown. Quite the title. Big bragging rights there. Very when I grew up, I always wanted to be the Summer of Arb Strawberry Showdown champion. <laughs> Unfortunately, what are you guys excited to see yet. today? Oh, gosh. As someone who's less in tune with Celeste speedrunning nowadays, there are so many talented runners under that 50 minute mark, and even some people who are pushing on it that could maybe look to achieving it today. But uh, yeah, just the fact that with these types of events, you're going to see on one screen someone like resetting right into summit and breaking your heart, and then someone right next to him like getting a pace into 6B. So I'm very excited to see a lot of nonstop action from our runners. I'm most excited to see how Summit goes in particular. It's always been my favorite level, and watching it is just a complete wonder, I would say, at times. I know we have a few runners who have chances of getting very, very good times, not just in Summit, but in the whole whole category. Like Isaac, for example, mentioned thinking that maybe 44 could be possible in the open stage here, and if that does happen, he would immediately just stop running and be done. But that would be a long shot and incredible Yeah, that to guy's see. cute. <laughs> <laughs> we love Isaac here. Shoutouts to Tio, though, as well. Tio is who I'll be rooting for for this event, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, Tio98. What a lad. Has, what, a low I'm... 47 now? Uh, I think so. Today will be the Tio46, I believe. A 47.01 for Tio, so hopefully we'll be able to come up on that minute barrier. The classic rite of passage, though, for all red berries. Minute barriers have been bigger barriers than they ever should be, time and time again. Yup. Hopefully those will be broken down this time around. I'm very interested to see how people choose to play uh, with berry trains and collects throughout the session. Um, I suspect we may see uh, fairly greedy play early on, and then potentially, you know, as people are on their second to last or last run, they may uh, choose to play a little differently. I'm curious to see how that plays out. Yeah, there's always the consistency element with these events. It's not quite like a race where you can just like make one mistake and then all of a sudden you lose. You know, if you make a mistake, you can reset, you have more time in the event to get through it. But obviously, uh, you know, you still only have a limited amount of time. This isn't grind monkey 101 you know you just whoever's the better player is going to win there is some who can perform in the moment and who gets that run that's better so we might see runners slightly approach the game differently although i'm not expecting that much of a consistency approach from a lot of runners yeah especially there are a decent amount of runners who opted to not go for the really long berry train people often have into our start and people have changed to collecting a lot more there which is probably for the best because losing one up to there repeatedly is not a fun time. I was going to say that uh, most of our players are playing in both sessions. Um, so if they do not get a good run today, they've still got three to four more hours tomorrow to do the same. Um, there are a couple people that are only playing today and a few more that are only playing tomorrow. We'll be sure to highlight those as we get a chance. With that said, I believe we should be underway pretty shortly here. We're having some technical issues. Twitch is struggling a little bit today. Hopefully it is uh, able to hold up throughout the session. You know, unfortunately, uh, the Celeste community channel isn't affiliated, so it doesn't have the channel points. Otherwise, I'd love to set up a 47-way uh, prediction right now. That would be awesome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
<laughs> 47 way day one prediction. Or we can just have like a different prediction of like how many sub 50s do you think we'll see today? Mm hmm. I'm sure there's chances for quite a few here. Of course. We'll see how that plays out though. After all, people, again, with having three to four hours across, or well, three to four hours each day, so two days combined, they're getting six to eight total hours to play. I'm sure there are going to be some people who play so aggressively on day one that they might not even have a finished run out. That is true. At least a couple I, of people. I hope they finish at least one run. I would like to see I hope so too. <laughs> everyone get a time on the board. Yes, I hope so too. Because going into day two without having finished anything would probably be dangerous for morale. But it might happen. Let's hope not. Another thing I'm interested for is how many people are going to be going 6A versus 6B for the routing in the middle of the run there. Because 6A is definitely a bit of a nicer level, I would say. 6B is known for being a terror in all red berries, especially. Um, but that time difference up to 30 to 40 seconds difference can potentially make the difference here too, though. Alrighty. This is the worst chapter in the game. We are starting. Day one has begun. On screen here right we now. have Quan, Ian, Vertle, and Vapo. So these four runners all have uh, about 48 to 49 minute PBs. Um, definitely excited to see what they can do uh, this event. I think a lot of these runners could potentially PB in this time window, um, but even just getting close to that in a category like ARB is impressive. Well, we seem to have ending on chapter time right now instead of file time. Hopefully that will be something they realize soon here. Proto with the file name Nova get 47. <laughs> Hopefully a little bit of positive encouragement. <laughs> How often is it do we get to see four screens of Celeste Arb goodness? Only during I don't know the that I've ever seen that. Really. Never before seen Hard Berries has been pretty historically not as popular of a category, but we're trying to change that with this event this summer. And it's definitely inspired a lot of interest, so I'm very happy with the outcome there. Looking at how players have gotten through start here, we see Vapo getting through the start checkpoint at about 106, looking pretty solid thus far. Vapo's in the lead. Vapo's no, practically won behind. the event right now, locked in. <laughs> I mean, just locking in your bed already? Speed. This My might goat. be a world record run. <laughs> My goat. <laughs> <laughs> One thing you will notice, of course, is that players will be doing um, some out of chapter menuing. That's mostly uh, done in 1A here, just as there's a fair amount of backtracking if you don't do so. Um, here, are likely going to have a save and quit from all four runners just to skip this heart animation. And we already saw one return to map. There will be one more a bit later in the chapter. Alrighty, guys. So this is actually my first time ever watching a Celeste speedrun. Uh, can you explain to me the difference between something like All Red Berries and Any Percent? Of course, I'm Sushi. So, in Any Percent, you're just trying to get through from a new file to the summit, the end of Chapter 7 in the shortest time possible. Whereas in All Red Berries here, you have to play through eight chapters to get all 175 berries. So those eight chapters being the main seven story chapters up to the summit and then core just after it, finishing core after collecting the last berry. So that about doubles the length of the category for you and adds a, an extra level of challenge and danger from all of the berries being these extra difficult challenges and the danger coming not just from the difficulty, but from the potential to lose a berry. Dying with a berry and not being able to go back to it can be a huge time loss, which is part of the potential for trouble here in the Strawberry Showdown. But hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more uh, collect strats, as they're called, where you aim to collect berries as you go along without losing too much time, instead of trailing them with you. 
That being said, we did see Vapo trailing uh, three to four berries there for about 30 to 40 seconds. So <laughs> some players were clearly choosing not to do that. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of aggression you'll see in ARB, despite the danger. But if you're well-practiced enough, it can definitely pay off from time to time. And we actually see Vapo here choosing to get the right side berries of Chasm first, and then go back for the left ones. This is pretty much equivalent, um, except it allows you to not need to collect uh, a few berries before getting to the left here. Because uh, normally you'd be returning to map, having collected more berries. So definitely taking a the bit task. more aggressive of a route here. And uh, one more the file timer. Huge. There we go. There we go. And now we're into old site. This is probably where uh, you see those huge berry trains. The notorious chapter. Well, not, well, if you die, you reset. Skill issue kind of deal. But obviously the start is uh, a little prettier. What is Vertle doing? Oh, went for the RCB there and didn't quite get enough distance on it, unfortunately. That, that strat strat's, is so cool. Yeah, so fairly hard. recent. Very, very difficult to get the exact spacing for that. Need a good corner boost. And sometimes it's almost out of your hands. But it's a nice little 0.3 or so, if I recall. One thing that's worth mentioning is that these players will each need four hearts to get into the core. Um, so you saw them all collect 1A heart already. And then the next one they'll be getting is in 3A, uh, as you can do an alternate order for the second checkpoint of that chapter to get that heart quite quickly. I don't think we've seen any of these runners going for the 2A heart. So if I saw that correctly, then we'll have all four of them here playing 6B later on. Then Definitely the more difficult between 6A and 6B. But it's a really fun chapter to watch, especially the falling section about a minute in. So I'll be looking forward to that here. We see NN collecting uh, their berry train and then promptly dying a couple of screens later. So that, that paid off. <laughs> yeah. Vapo here is still, uh, still carrying some berries. I don't think any more from start, but... Yeah, those should both be from this checkpoint. Vapo definitely unrelenting when it comes to the collecting of berries. Not going to stop for even a moment if it's avoidable, it looks like. Everdal does seem to be pulling ahead of this pack a little bit, getting out of the battle and chase section at about 5.15. Whereas we have Quan and Vapo in the last room, both at about 5.25. And we're getting these slow kids out of here. Let's go. We got Teal, Isaac, and Booms. These are the real speedrunners, guys. The real speedrunners. Look at this. <laughs> Actually, did Teal reset or start late? What is this? This is intervention, man. This is old news. Get out of here. Uh, What's potentially happening? Potentially started late because this is about a minute behind in file time from where we had some of the other runners. No, and where man. Some no, of them are currently. Not my goat. What is happening? Maybe, maybe had some early issues in City and just wanted to get him out of the way. You know, the nerves from the starting the event. But there's plenty of time to uh, wear those off and get pushing through. We are only in everyone's first run after all. So it is possible that we see some more resets going on here. There is no this requirement is... to finish out your first run like there was for the uh, CTT. Yeah, our Celeste Time Trials uh, event uses a very similar format to this, but with a, um, a sum of individual levels instead of a full game category like this. And there we do require that players complete each level once at the beginning of the session. But no such restriction here. They, they took my man Vertle, moved him up a pack, and he's still in first place. He's my GOAT. You can't, you can't stop him. Coming into the Celeste Resort. And uh, compared to the players we saw before, in this pack, everyone everyone's a, a, a little bit higher up on the game, but higher expectations. Isaac, of course, being the world record holder for this category. Tio with a low 47, as mentioned earlier. I think Gooms as well with a 47. Mm -hmm. And Gooms being 100% world record holder, definitely has plenty of experience and all red berries and really all of it, of course. So 
I'm sure Gooms has the potential to be pushing up into 47, 46 ish times here today. Will potential translate into actual runs though? I will answer the question. No, it will not. What? Hate That's to break so it to you. I can't believe this. So you're fun telling getting me out you of don't 2A. think it's going to go as well for some of these runners as it could? Yes. I. This is a hot take, but I don't think every every speedrunner will match their sum of best every single run. It's a little disappointing. I don't know sometimes where the bar is set, but... That can't be true, Msushi. I, okay. I'm fully I believing apologize. here. I apologize. I just lied to you. Oh. Setting up for the largest controversy in Celeste history. <laughs> Lying live on stream to all of the Celeste community. <laughs> Msushi professional con man. True. We see Isaac uh, hitting that so-called Yasig strat very nicely. I did not know what was called that. <laughs> it is just a strat, I guess. Indeed. That is insane. Big ol' three second time save to get that Ultra Chain and the funny bunny hop out. T was still a little bit behind in file time here, so if we give it another 30 seconds or so, we'll be able to see his attempt at Yasig. We'll see if we get multiple runners hitting it today. Oh, Vertal accidentally hitting a retry in the uh, Theo cutscene there in Towels. Whoa, wait, Only guys, what's happening? Loss. Don't don't you usually go go to this one last what, in any percent? What's happening? What's happening, guys? <laughs> well, for all red berries, there is a slight difference in the routing, just being a couple seconds faster if you're starting with Towels first. Because normally in any percent, you'd go down to chests, and it just makes the hub routing a little bit quicker, whereas in... All red berries here, there's a certain strat that's way easier to do. Vertles just pulled it off, where you can backtrack with a wall bounce through that uh, vertical corridor back to the heart here. It's uh, That bit on its own saves about a second, but the route difference overall is somewhere in the range of two seconds for doing tells first. And here we're going to have Vertil save and quitting to get a death warp coming back in here to enter books without even having to speak to Oshiro in the mess room yeah it saves about three to four of backtracking and we see isaac now about 10 seconds file time ahead of Vertel, even though um Vertel's a little bit ahead here uh visually Roderick, they finally caught up i need to keep a track of how how tio is an igt compared to the to this other this little pack we have here. Yeah, almost a minute. I think he's about there. 30 seconds behind. Oh, well, we have a few at different spots, I suppose. We got Gooms at 10 10 right now, and Tio's at 9 flat. So the IGT difference is somewhat major there for some of the players. I love that bear room that Virgil just did. That strat with the all the, the fancy uh, corner boost, diagonal corner boost to get out of it. We're about to see another pretty fancy room coming back up here for Virgil. Getting that wall bounce and coming back up on the right side. Doesn't quite hit it perfectly, but still getting that corner kick. Oh yeah, having a little bit of trouble getting back up to Oshiro. But that route difference going up top is definitely pretty interesting over the old option of just going below the bridge to the right. And uh, we're checking him back to the start of the resort here with another pack of people. We have Error, TNT, Bullet Dancer, and Tanuki. And uh, as you can see, these runners are not near the end of the resort, so they're a little bit slower than the pack we just saw, but obviously still here competing to get into that knockout stage. And it's looking like... Yeah, we wanted this open stage to be as accessible as possible. Um, so we've got quite a wide range of... Um... I'd say, you know, experience with the category, um, people with like the 47, 48 times that we've mentioned, as well as people with uh, PBs that are still over an hour. It's cool to see them uh, trying it out and hopefully enjoying the format for themselves. Tanuki apparently though was already in the Mirror Temple and just absolutely stunned at how fast they've beaten the game. 
uh, a little shook on that menu, but... I believe Tanuki will be joining the event later and just <laughs> has it set up here. Uh, I refuse to believe this. <laughs> <laughs> I believe time travel has been discovered. Time travel is possible with Tanuki's 27-25 Mirror Temple finish. And this is actually really cool in the sense of, of uh, as someone who makes YouTube videos explaining strats, like you can see now uh, the cool strat that all the other runners did in the other pack to get this berry you see on error screen. Uh, that strat's really, really hard, so these runners are not going for it. So you have to instead go all the way around the right side to save your dash and dash through over the spikes to get the berry, which is the intended way of doing it. Uh, the other strat, of course, is a lot harder. You have to get some... Uh, some precise Hyper Ultra Coyote Frame, other Celestia Brish. I've never done the strap before, don't ask me. <laughs> Bringing some attention to TNT here. Looking at his splits, he's got a nice gold coming on from Resort Start here. and looks to be 40 Ooh. seconds ahead, so having a, having a pretty solid time so far through Resort. That's huge. Yeah, I suspect uh, that some of these players may lower their PV uh, by minutes throughout the course of this event. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure for some runners, let's... maybe we're familiar with less speedrunning, but didn't attempt all red berries until the announcement of this event, because it's always fun to uh, get the whole community involved, try something out you haven't done before. And uh, replacing our AFK Tanuki down in the bottom right, we have Epic. Epic's another one of the runners that doesn't have too much experience at all, really, with all red berries before, but has run the category with a PB of an hour 20 and 14. Looking to be on what could be a decent improvement of that right now, but can't. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> I just realized we have the chapter time for Epic as well instead of file time. Yep, I just messaged production about that. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get that sorted out, I'm sure. Someone will pop into Epic and let them know what's going on there. Looks like uh, Bullet Dancer in the bottom left here has got some splits set up, but the timer's not running. Thankfully, we've got a game timer to see here. And these runners that are looking to be in roughly the uh, potential for sub hour here would be hoping for a resort exit of somewhere around 15 or so minutes. At the moment, not quite catching on to that. I think we're a little bit closer to paces of uh, 17 or 18 minutes, but that's still solid enough to potentially be PB pace for some of these players. Yeah, it's worth noting that 3A is definitely one of the, the harder berry chapters, I think. Um, Along with Definitely. five and seven, I think those three are probably the most most difficult, especially for new players. Mm -hmm. yeah, resort in particular can be a big, big stopping point because of all the uh, rooms with cycles. And when you have obstacles on cycles and having to know an exact way to get through it every time, as opposed to being a little bit more comfortable with having room to improvise, definitely makes it a bit more of a, a difficult point to get through when you're earlier on in Celeste speedrunning. TNT weaving his way through to get that berry down in chests. Narrowly avoiding a lot of the obstacles. Oh, an error running into a little bit of trouble here on the uh, right side of chests. This berry over here can be a little bit complicated having to try not to cover parts of the ground that you want to backtrack on later. It's always awesome yep. to see how uh, runners of the not ultra competitive level uh, take some rooms. Just because when you're running the game at the highest level, as we've probably seen with the last two packs, it's kind of a thing where even if you don't like strats too much or you struggle with them a little bit, you kind of have to do them because you want to get a good time and they save a lot of time. But if you're still kind of feeling comfortable with the game and getting into learning all these different berries, if you don't like, oh my god, TNT. I I just saw that, uh, <laughs> that death on the, Unfortunate. The, uh, Another issue track. with backtracking. Leave yeah, it space for yourself. Got it that time. I can try to try. But you used to see things, if, hey, if you don't like a strat, you actually don't have to do it because 
two seconds on on your hour speed run isn't that much and you also have to prioritize having fun at some points what so i'm we'll worried see. about is if tnt got uh, the bottom left berry in huge meds because oh the under the berry oh. Oh. yeah they did not get it after uh getting the key so he may have gotten it beforehand though hopefully we'll have to see if that um was it how many berries are in resort again? I don't remember off the top of my head now that I try and think about it. 25? Uh, or is that another chapter? 25, yeah. Okay, yeah. Hopefully we'll see the 25 out of 25 coming in when TNT gets to finishing the chapter. Looks like he's got everything, because you're supposed to end the chapter with 63, so... Should be good. Ooh, we see Error 404 setting up for the Demo Dash route here. Very exciting. See, uh, well, you'd have these deaths anyway, but I believe Demo Dash first try saves time, Demo Dash second time is even, also depending on how long you set it up. Yeah, it's got to be a quick setup for it to save time. Bullet Dancer looks to be taking the same route now, leaving the uh, very uh, below, like lower right of the demo, demo room behind to come and backtrack for it. Ever and so we'll see. Bullet yeah, Dancer cannot on. cannot get this this very section. This is one this, of the more brutal cycle rooms in the game, honestly. This it's so weird. Very infamous room, the double berry room here. Not at all easy. Error Error making out it out though. Yeah. Meanwhile, TNT in the Oshiro section at the very end now, presidential suite. Having so, a little bit of stutteriness here. I think we can blame that on Twitch. Still maintaining that uh, 30 second lead from earlier in the chapter. And looks like he should be able to keep pace with that as well. So share section has been going pretty well for TNT. Mm -hmm. Playing it safe, but getting through it decently smoothly. Nice little bonk into Oshiro to grab that berry up there. Oh, and Bullet Dancer just hitting the demo through to the end of Shaft. Nice work there. And now we have Epic coming into the double berry room. Let's see how smoothly or not this may go here. Again, double berry room here. Very much difficult. Manages that left side berry first try. Off cycle, though. Oh. Recovers it. Squeezes through without a death. You love to see it. Clean. TNT coming into the last room is... Oh, Ooh, getting hit by Oshiro pretty early there. No, Thankfully on, it wasn't on a my screen, end. that's a bop. On my screen, that's no Shiro bop. I'm not even <laughs> kidding. Fix your game, Addy. Uh, oh my, never mind. Hit Red Air, hit Red Your game is perfectly fine. And we'll, TNT will definitely finish out that chapter just fine. I'm sure of it. There will be no more deaths because we got four new runners to introduce. There's a couple of face cams here as well from Average yeah. Imposter and Bullet Bill. Getting a little bit of that extra angle going on here. As you can see, we've also got people from all corners of the world with Australia, UK, and the USA represented currently. Very different and time Ninja zones. Ninja hailing from players. Celeste Mountain. <laughs> I was to say that. <laughs> and uh, we're all oh, in the oh, Golden Ring. some menus? Start. Average Imposter getting a 1530 exit there from Resort. Looking to be roughly around an hour pace for that arb. Yeah, Average Imposter. Uh, that de definitely not new to less speedrunning, but to the berry is quite uh, a yeah, new... A little bit newer to arb, for sure. And uh, this is where, uh, at least on Bullet Bill... Ninja and adds screens. We get to see Shrine, which is one of the more cooler sections. I mean, if you see this in any percent, this is like a 15 second checkpoint where you just go through this first big hub room. No big deal. But since we got to get all the barriers, you have to go to all the offshoots of the hub rooms, go all these weird little challenges with these platform blocks and berries and collect them all. And it's uh, quite a cool, fast paced uh, section with a lot of nuanced movement as well. It's like six times longer and turns it into a pretty cool looking maze for someone who's not familiar with the route, but not so much a maze for a speedrunner just zooming right through it. 
Ooh, imposter stuck with two berries. Oh, and oh, dies with both of them on the spikes right there, having to backtrack a little bit. Oh. It's gonna be almost like 15 seconds or so, just having to back up to get that berry. Very unfortunate. Ninja taking a death as well on this little side room here. Yeah, Shrine is another checkpoint that's pretty infamous, just for being very difficult if you're uh, trying to get on a pretty pretty quick pace through it. So not too surprising seeing deaths, but still just as painful. Looking at Bullet Bill and Ninja here, they're playing pretty similar rooms, but Bullet Bill with uh, about 20 seconds less on the timer here. Maybe spending a, few, a bit more time in menus. And we should also see how uh, runners tackle the hearts. Looks like in this pack, a lot of them will probably be doing the intended strats of doing the Mario Brothers Easter egg, holding down on the white block to get transposed into the background. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see the fast heart strat at some point in the event here, but it's definitely a lot more difficult for first try, saving you roughly three to four seconds, and then second try, almost breaking even. <laughs> and you can just see the difference between Ninja going for the getting that auto scroll block while Bullet Bill doing the ceiling pop. A very cool strat. Nice. That time save is much more significant in all red berries than it is in any percent. Oh yeah, only like a couple seconds in any percent, but getting around six to seven in ARB if I recall pro uh, properly. One of the nice things about Allred Berries for just learning it is that there are still a lot of portions where you get to carry over muscle memory from any percent if you played it beforehand. Oh, an average imposter getting the fast heart strat here. Love to see it. Second Very try, nice. so not as much time save as you might have hoped for, but still very cool seeing that strat pulled off. He was is saying, so behind in IGT, I did not realize. Oh. oh, yeah, we guess we have a few. Oh, that yeah, that is significant. Wow. About four minutes behind an IGT here, but not too far behind the other runners on screen. A nice ceiling pop from Average Imposter as well. First try. Love to see it. All right, Jax, will we see any second auto scroller skips from these runners? From these runners, I don't know. Dave, Average Imposter in the bottom left, may go for something. Um, I think, uh, you know, in a category like this, though, yeah, we got the Ultra from Bullet Bill. That went very nice. And then we'll see what Ninja does here in a second. Activating the block. Yeah, looking to be doing the same thing. Yeah, I think Dave might be the only one to be maybe attempting it out of this pack. It is definitely quite risky, even for the uh, six seconds or so that it can save when you pull it off. One of the hardest strats, I believe you could really say in Celeste, that people do actually use. That is really struggling with this berry. <laughs> okay, finally. It's oh, it has to. Has to Get collected, losing Get the stamina. Neutrals. Okay. Phew, it's a tough it one. Out. It is deceptively weird that strat if you do the little corner kick. Oh. Oh, had... oh. Getting the ultra. Oh, he's through. Average imposter. So oh, good. Dave went for it. Hits it. Very nice. <laughs> That's the average <laughs> second auto scroller skip experience. Nailing the trick, dying to the second room, losing more time than it saves. Wonderful. Gets, gets gets through it, though. First try, every time. And an Ninja and Bullet Bill are in cliff face. This is the final checkpoint of Chapter 4A, the Golden Ridge. During this chapter, you're going to see wind going leftward. And if you don't see it, you probably won't see anything because the bitrate will be awful. Notorious Session, you know, having fast particles across the screen. Generally not good when you're sharing a low quality Twitch stream. But shout outs to Coral Reef on that one. Shout outs to Coral Reef. Also one of the one of the ARB goats, truly. 
True. My goat, in fact. Yeah, there were a few runners that you could say were big time trailblazers of Allred Berries for several years before many other people were playing the category. Among them being Bavai, Evans Fight, Coral Reef, Ryunata. Maybe one or two others that I'm missing there, but very cool seeing how far that they took it for previous years. And now the category is getting pushed by a lot of the rest of the community now. Now, Bullet Bill and Ninja finishing up 4A. Average Imposter and Ad GS. Nope, they're not synced. They're not synced at all. Uh, that's a little, a little disappointing. But they'll all meet up, have a little family reunion here in the Mirror Temple with Theo. Well, I guess you also see Theo at the end of Chapter 4. You know what's weird? I always forget about the feather cutscene at the end of 4A. When was the last time you guys played through that? It has uh, been years for me. Probably bingo in 2019. <laughs> I don't know when it, they still true. had it on the bingo generator back then. Yeah. Whoa, we got a lot of stuff going on on the screen. We have Isaac in 6A in the top right. Mishi in the bottom right in 5A. And then Bullet and Marky, both in Golden Ridge here. Well, let's try to analyze what's going on here. Isaac looks very different IGTs very as well. Pace. Mm hmm. Having Isaac coming in right now at 26.12 on the IGT with about 50 seconds off of that, so... I had an exit of the Mirror Temple somewhere right around 25.20. Wow. This guy's just gonna get a 45 and then call it quits for a week? Just be like, yeah. <laughs> All right. I mean, it is possible having a 45.12 is PB, and he's gotten a few other 45s in the past couple weeks just in preparation for this event. Bullet and B, Marky and Mishy all here having um, PBs of over an hour. I'd definitely be excited to see if they can break that barrier uh, this weekend. Mishy in particular is quite close to it, actually, with a 101.06 PB. Oh, wow, yeah. And I already see some green splits, I think. I really have yeah. to squint to see it, but... And it definitely looks here. green, and you see a gold in there. Kind of, kind of hard to read the yeah. exact splits, but it looks uh, to be I a decent pace. I see a shiny rainbow two, two splits yonder ago. Getting that seated berry. I'm just noting here, Bullet Infinity Infinity Infi is uh, way behind in IGT. Probably had a, a city reset or something. Maybe lost a berry in, in intervention. Hit the, hit the the go again button. And like, on the top right of your screen, we have the task playing. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was quite the drawing difference. But uh, I mean, our very world happens. record holder. Yeah, this, this is, is what happens skilled. when you get on a pacer. We're trying to show off all the runners, but this guy, he needs to show us that he's going to get like a 45 or a 46 in his first no reset of the day. So we, we have to we have to give Isaac the light of day. Hog, hogging a swear on our broadcast base. We paused all the other live streams just to session. just to really focus, <laughs> just in case you didn't know where to look right now. We just, we have Isaac killing six B, grabbing that feather, going down, diagonal dash down right. See the demo dash. Yup, perfect. Nails it every time. Two minutes flat in this room. I don't know what's too great of a split, but this five is a little bit isn't... behind for Isaac and six B, but yeah, a little bit right behind, still. but okay. Hits the Ultra Dash, now into uh, Rock Bottom. Yup. Alright, it's gonna be batting Battleline over the head a couple of times. And this is this is the pinnacle of our gameplay. Why look anywhere else? We could have all these runners here, but Twitch.tv slash Isaac Tay is uh, the only thing we really need to run this event. And let's see the nice grounded Ultra Reverse. Yup, yup. Feather Skip over the top. Hyper Bob Battleline. Avoid the Laser Dash right. Super, grab the feather, dash up, just narrowly avoiding those spikes, grab the next feather, connecting all these things. And now it's actually Ickle Chris, who somehow 
took over Isaac's keyboard. We're uh, just going to wait a second here. Everything will get sorted out. They paused the game to make the transfer, you know. Yeah. I think Twitch is <laughs> unhappy with us right now. Yeah. I think yeah. we'll get some gauge feeds back shortly. Wow. <laughs> I'm we are, yeah. Twitch was having a few problems before we started the stream today, just as an, a whole website. That might be affecting how things are going right now. Um, hopefully we'll be back online for you in just a bit, though. In the meantime, oh, wait, wait. how are you guys doing, Twitch chat? We are over 30 minutes into our first session here. That's true. When was the last time either of you have played All Red Berries, would you say? I think it was, I had a race with you recently, Jax. Was that your most recent? Yeah, I played recent? a couple weeks ago. That would be the, my mm. most recent, yeah. What about you, Sushi? Oh, wait. Never we mind. We have some runners back on. We are so back. We can fill we that, that so question back. later. We're in Chapter 5, the Mirror Temple. We're right. Oh, we're just seeing Echo Chris end off unraveling. That's like my favorite checkpoint. Who hurt you? <laughs> I I am just very nostalgic for the 2018, 2019, not even 20, 2018 5A speedruns. I know nowadays it's it's not fun to hyper optimize, but <laughs> you know it, it brings back some good old memories. Back in the day, you know we we thought ultra dashes was was the coolest thing ever you could go. Back back in my day, you do demo dashes manually. We all know about the oh derbies. Legendary 5A arc right before 5B was discovered to be faster in any percent. Oh my god, Marky, that death was really funny. I'm s I, no one else saw it, just me. <laughs> it's okay. Don't don't clip and go back and watch that death because he didn't die. And it didn't happen. Okay, did not happen. Smooth sailing here. Oh my god, Mishy and Ickle Chris are synced uh, regarding some net lag. Yep, actually, they Mishy slows down so Chris can catch up. Yep, yep. Oh my gosh, this is the pinnacle of all Red Berries gameplay. Let's see, are they both in the green right now? It looks like we have Chris in the green at least somewhat. I can't really tell from the splits, but that looks like it might even be multiple minutes in the green. Yes, Chris is two and a half minutes ahead currently. Ooh, yeah. Incredible. That's chill. That's that's chill. And Mishy as well. Looking somewhere closer to, I think that's 30 to 40 seconds in the green. So faring pretty well as well. I think uh, Bullet and Mishi are probably on relatively similar paces. It's sort of hard to tell uh, them being six minutes apart in IGT. Um, but I think, you know, we see Mishi nine minutes into the chapter, Bullet about two. Um, so pretty similar paces there, it looks like. Mm hmm. We have Ickle Chris I'm gonna... trying to get through the final room of uh, search here. Having a little bit of trouble with this seeker, but rescue is about to begin. One of my favorite checkpoints coming up right here. A lot of difficult Theo movement potentially going on here. Trying to uh, carry Theo with you when you're dashing around and doing grounded ultras and all that can be a pretty tough challenge. But when played well, you can be flying through this checkpoint. Ooh, I think Marky may be going for either it was a misdirect or going for that uh, upright dash out of this bubble. Okay, there we go. Just choosing to avoid it that time. I, you can do a demo dash into that leftmost bubble in that wing gray room to actually raise it up two pixels, and then it'll it'll be high enough that you can do an upright and corner boost uh, off that spiked wall. I think Marky may have been going for some strat osmosis, just seeing another runner try something and doing it <laughs> in your run, but sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. I wonder if we're gonna see a seeker uh, killed in that. Oh, 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 no, no. <laughs> Theo just bounced off into the edge of the spikes, just struggling to. I think poor seeker management oh, there. And Chris dying right at the end of this oh room, God. right near the end of rescue, got hunted down by the seeker over the top. Looks like this end's gonna be a little bit safer though. 
Didn't quite get the entry ultra though. We're gonna have a little bit of fighting against the waves from the eyeball here from Chris for a bit. This is like the most embarrassing thing that can happen if you're off cycling the Skip the cutscene! What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I'm not pressed. I'm not pressed at all. That's chill. <laughs> that's that's a really cool cutscene. I'm I'm sad we just skip it. So it, Chris knew that and was just making sure I could see another second of it. And uh, that's chill. Yeah, I, you I haven't resort. watched it in a while. We're just resort? getting a, getting a little uh, bit temple. of a look at it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really, really cool, guys. It's a very well lit resort we have here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Rishi ending off two. We're actually ending off five. This is this is chapter five, but I, I said two as in like as well, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. know either. <laughs> Mishi skips the cutscene instantly. Let's go. A win for Mishi. <laughs> huge. And a win for Masushi. That is huge as well. <laughs> and Chris has bad karmas, failing life skip 20 different times. Gets it on the 21st time. That was actually third try, but... Yeah, Mishi looking to be in roughly like 53-ish territory for this pace so far, but with a PB of an hour and one minute. So this is potential to be a big PB for Mishi down the line if her endgame is well practiced. Yeah, Summit of course being um, probably like the most defining chapter of this category, I think, because it's just so long. Uh, you'll I see these players monolith. summit for quite quite some time oh. here. Mishi going for a reset though. What? I'm what? very surprised at that. She knows Maybe something. She just we has do really not. high expectations. She knows something we do not, man. Are these splits wrong? Do we have the well, wrong PB? <laughs> does he know? I. Commentary doesn't know in this case. We do. We do not know. We are unaware. We're clueless, in fact. So clueless. Uh, meanwhile, Marky. Going through the mirror here, as well as bulletin fee, just a bit before that. We get another look at your favorite checkpoint, M Sushi. Yeah. One is even better than 5A unraveling. What's that? The entirety of 6A, which we get to see on Chris's <laughs> screen. <laughs> Let's Oh, we go. are watching some 6A gameplay. We did get that alternate route from Chris here. As far as I'm aware, Chris is a Big time 6B hater, so this is uh, no surprise to me. The bigger surprise, though, is Chris, in the past, up until about half a year ago or so, was a strong ARB hater as well. And I think tried to convert that because of the Summer of ARB Strawberry Showdown event here, to try and play at least a little bit, get involved in the event. You know, had to get yeah. a little bit of a turnaround training art going on. Worth noting, I'm not one to read in too deep to things, you know, but uh, I'm just saying uh, Chris has PB splits and these PB splits have empty reflection splits. So does this mean that his PB had 6B and now he's assigned to run 6A? Possibly. That's very possible. he had possible. to delete the splits and make new ones and then there wouldn't be splits there. It, you, you never know. But at the same time, he, he's he's probably still two or three minutes ahead. So I, I think we're going to laugh at his splits whenever we switch. Over to another screen. We got Wonder. We got Goof Goose. We got Luca. We got Salt. We got Olivia. And we're in the summit. Ooh, Luca having to do a little bit of a backup here. Usually you'd get that berry uh, going down, I think, but need to get it on the way back up. Oh, and we see some really nice strats and movement here in 1.5k. The summit, probably like, it's the longest level in the game, and in all red berries, arguably the hardest. Um, you know, length derives difficulty in itself. Also depends what strats you go for, and it's also just very unforgiving in some places with how these berries are placed. So very nice reverse hyper there to get a collect. I think that's pretty common. <laughs> oh, we're actually missing oh. the winged berry. Here's to see what other paces we've got here. It looks like Salt on fairly similar pace to Luca, uh, maybe a little bit behind. Um, yeah, just 
back a little bit further in the same checkpoint, but getting the very nice fall through those spikes, and then down dashing the room after, but losing the berry. We got a hand cam on Wonder's screen. What exactly is the setup there? Does he have like the Split ergonomic keyboard, detached like. keyboard? Yeah, that's sick. Mm -hmm. that's got the really wire cool. connecting the two in the center, but they're way out wide so that you're not scrunching your shoulders mm -hmm. at the center of the keyboard all day. I've been considering getting one of those. An expert in chat is telling us that it's currently an Iris Rev7, not sponsored. Not sponsored. Slushkin is not affiliated with any organizations or brands. Yeah, so just taking a look at the PBs of the runners we have on screen here, we have Wonder with a 50.05 for PB. Olivia, we have with a 51.22. Goof Goose with a 50.18. Salt with a 51.42. And Luca on the right here, we have Luca at a 47.41. So a few 50 runners, and then Luca with a very impressive time. I know Luca has gotten some very, very fast ILs as well on the uh, Arb Leader boards. Strats are so cool. I've not seen some of this stuff before. Oh yeah, the uh, upper portion of 2k with the seated berry got a, another big revolution somehow after all this time. There are <laughs> multiple times in the past three or four years where that strat has changed, and each time it's been saving almost a half second or more every time. So the most recent addition is another second in that room over what was previously thought to be fastest. Goofy is playing the very dangerous game of carrying berries in Summit. A game not many choose to play. Oh, Goofy's getting the demo first try, but dying to the Dust Bunny and then having to back it up with a second try demo there. We are now 45 minutes into the session. Yeah, I was going to ask if uh, we can get production onto if we have runners from the first pack or from the top who would probably be close to finishing the summit by now, I believe. If we could see if any of them are still on runs right now as they would be heading closer to the core. But I mean, we're going to focus yeah, we on all these runners. We may have seen some resets oh. from them. We aren't yeah, sure I would not be yet. surprised. If anything, those runners are the, are the more likely ones to reset. So... But these runners are all trucking through the summit. I mean, specifically, Luca, obviously, in comparison to this pack, uh, it is a bit of a leg above these other runners in terms of pre prior preparation in the category, but doing a great job right now. Curious to see when Luca started running Arab, actually. I'm going to pull up some numbers. Checking in on the notes. Yeah, it looks like Luca's first full game of Red Berry submission was in August of 2021. So yeah, I've been playing this category for at least a couple of years. Uh, potentially was playing some levels before then. Wow. Well. And Luca coming into the downdraft section here, right about nine minutes flat for the Summit IL time. I think that means that Luca has a chance at somewhere around 11.30 for the Summit time here. That can be a pretty solid IL time. Yeah, that, that's chill, man. That's cool. <laughs> you can do that, Sushi. Uh, let me check my journal real quick. I think I have a 13. <laughs> oh, we I see the we uh, upright demo into that ceiling there actually sets up for a spike jump perfectly where the wind pushes you down into the spikes and you can jump before the death check. That's a fun one. Yeah, I love it. I mean, that strat's been known for a while, but I love how there's strat where that the, the quote unquote true spike jump is actually used. Very cool. Oh, the one at flag 20, was it? Doing the little super to get jump off the spikes right afterward, I believe. 
We might uh, see no, that the upright piece runners. The upright demo uh, after the Flight 21 berry into the ceiling. Oh, that as well. Ah. Yeah. I think it was Hyken who found that one. That was a really cool find. I think it was sometime in the in the past year that that was discovered. Well, maybe a little over a year ago now. Time has passed in a strange way, you could say. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, a reminder for those not familiar with the category that this does not end with Summit. We have one more chapter to play after this. Yeah, so whenever we're seeing the Summit exits of these players coming in, the final chapter should be, hopefully for this pack, taking them anywhere from about 4 to 4.5, maybe 4.45 for the final chapter on top of whatever time they have exiting Summit. Core can be a little bit volatile. There's some tough strats there, and deaths are, can be long. Oh my goodness, what a demo dash. Beautiful movement. We're going to see a flag two skip here. Oh. Almost not <laughs> landing on the platform. <laughs> I would elect to grab the flag after that too. Just a oh, little bit spooky. Breaths. Yeah, we've all been there. Going in at about 44 44 for the summit exit for Luca here. On oh, Salt hitting that upright demo to get the spike jump and down jump as well. Oh, but losing the berry, having to backtrack for it here. That is like the worst thing that could happen. He <laughs> gets to show off that spike jump for a second time, though. <laughs> Love to see it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Olivia and Wonder here entering the very beginning of 2500. Not too far apart in IGT. We have Wonder entered about 4510, and I think Olivia somewhere around 4545. So they're pretty close here, and this could end up being pretty much a race between these two runners. Here we see what the hearts were required for, getting through that gate. And now we have um, a set of four players that are all very far into their runs here. So we got Gooms and Brutal, looking like the farthest players ahead who have yet to reset. Potential and for Tom some and... really risky strats from Gooms, being the oh, yeah. core world record holder here. I was going to say, well, we, we need to check on everyone because we're probably going to see, like, in the next 10 minutes, we're going to see a lot of first runs being finished. Because it seems like a lot of runners are not, are are opting to finish their first runs, even though you can reset anytime you want. For sure, it feels nice to at least have a run on the board, so a no reset Definitely. is not too surprising for the first run here. I think this is the first time we're seeing Catman and Tom on screen, too. Looks like they're playing pretty well through the summit here. Yeah, unfortunately no green splits on any of my screens right now, so they should all be resetting. <laughs> there are four amateurs right now. Oh. Just getting the first run out of the way, you know. Putting something up on the board, something to be content with. There's a chance well, that they are saving time on the final splits too. Well known speedrunner M Sushi, every every run is a PB. <laughs> And if it wasn't, you didn't see it happen. Oh, Goom's going for the really fast ultra oh, to the cassette there, hitting buddy. that first try. Yeah, be a low 48 from Goom's. Very solid for a first run, no reset. Yeah, quite good. I mean, getting within a minute of your PB as a no reset, that's always something... Uh, what's a, what's a good adjective to describe that? Commendable? Successful? Satisfying? Satisfying? I need a thesaurus. Congratulations to Gooms. I, uh, Isaac was on a Scorcher earlier. I don't know if that died out, but to my knowledge, as someone who's only watching what production is giving me, current first place time for Summer of Arm Strawberry Showdown. I, uh, I do see a time submission from Isaac with a 46-19. Okay, seems, so. man. Never mind. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> 
Isaac got a 4619 and we didn't see it on stream. We've seen enough of him already. That's true. He's probably he's gotten enough now. We're never gonna see him again until the bracket stage. I'll be back. See you next week, sure. Isaac. Let's uh <laughs> can we put into perspective how good of a time 4619 is? How how good's that time for Well for, for Isaac for in particular? Turns? That loses a minute and seven seconds on his PB. But I still think of everyone participating in the tournament that beats anyone else's PB. Yep, it sure does. Okay, so you're saying like he just beat no one else in this tournament can come within 30 seconds of the time he just bit out on, on, his, on his first no reset. Well, we might see a few runners getting PBs in this potentially. That is true. If there is a big, there is a chance for that. We have a few sitting very close to the time needed. Like, for example, again, Tio at a 4701. Probably. And Tio's capable of a 46 for sure, at the very least. Gooms, I think, might be able to do that as well. Um, after that, off the top of my head, I'm not as sure. Virtles finishing out here. 4906 entering the last room. See the ultra dashes. See the magic. No Yumi in the top right corner. <laughs> Empty and vast. Here we go. Getting the ultra. Messing it up. Reset the run. It's all over. But a good sub 50. 4920 from Virtle. Yeah, that's very solid for Virtle given that his uh, PB currently is 4829. So staying within a minute of that here. Yeah. Pretty chill and cool. Oh yeah, and Gums is also within a minute of his PB because uh, he had a 47.22, so 48.11, like you said earlier. Very solid to see. Tom here in the bottom left. We have Tom's PB it's currently a 51.51. So given that Tom is pretty early on in core here, I don't think we're going to be seeing it a PB of the category, but it looks to be holding close to his PB regardless. I was just gonna say, it looks like we have another finisher off uh, mainstream. We have forty nine oh five from Quan. And Very nice. Yo. If my sources are correct, that is like shockingly close to a personal best, almost ten seconds off uh, his personal best, which is absurd. Meanwhile, we've got Fertile getting right place. back into the action. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, there is a decent amount of time for runners to be taking quick water breaks or moments to rest their hands here. Since we do have two days available to those who are able to make it. Oh, Catman, unfortunately not hitting that core hyper there in the bottom right. Going for the really fast corner kicks here off of the blocks. Getting the fire skip in. Love to see that now. Other times coming in off stream here. We've got NN submitting a 4837. What? Very nice time. <laughs> okay. What is what you is said 4837 PB? for NN? That's a one yeah. second PB. Yep. Congratulations. <laughs> well, we already okay, have man. a PV in the summer of our strawberry showdown here. Very excited to see what he can do going forward. That's uh, that's chill and cool, you know. Just uh, just warming up, honestly. So <laughs> chill. Just some laid back Celeste completions, getting all the berries, pressing my friends, you know. And Tom here is approaching the end of the core. Controlling the bumper boost speed. Ooh. I mean, navigate over that spike without a dash is a little tricky, especially in ice yeah. physics. Gets it done, though, and doesn't lose too, too much time. Like, 
Again, Tom's PB here is a 5151. So looking to be coming in just about a minute or slightly less behind that. So this was another very solid run we're getting here. Back to the infamous 8A heart room. Will Tom hit the ultra chain? Nice, Never beautifully him. done. Just about a minute off of PB. Oh, what's happening? Okay, we've got a bunch more gamers in core. Oh, I see green splits. I see green splits. Oh, Ponkel finishing up a green run. 53-53, is that a PB for Ponkel? It is indeed. Ponkel's PB before was a 54-29. Congrats to Ponkel as well for another PB here. Savadra just missing PB by about 17 seconds, but a very solid run to start the event. Yeah, man, this is, we can we just go to any player stream at any time, and they're either like hyper resetting, or it's like, oh yeah, it just finished within 20 seconds of their PB. Not bad, mm -hmm. pretty cool guys. <laughs> yeah, people seem to have prepared very well for this. It's really cool to see that. As the event shapes up, uh, the leaderboard will definitely become more populated. Uh, currently, we've been waiting uh, to reveal that, but I think we've probably got enough times on there to get that shown. So the spinning berry will be no longer present on the right side of your screen. We're going to have some times showing up here. You know, I was going to ask why that was there, but I didn't want to look stupid. I was like, <laughs> is chat supposed to be there? I'm like, is there supposed to be something there? It's coming in, was, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You simply need to let them cook. The times are cooking up. Yeah, on our next swap, we'll uh, see that come in. Awesome. They had to heat up a little bit in core first yeah. before they could be displayed, you see. Can't have a leaderboard with no times. Lex carrying a berry here. Oh, wow. I'm navigating <laughs> going... that expertly. Not stopping to collect? Are you going to keep going? Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> it had me worried for a moment there. <laughs> Wow, it was very aggressive. Keeping I'm that out here all the pissing my pants on her behalf, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oop, that ran into a little bit of trouble in this oh room my here. God. Uh, how, how do you how do you manage these deaths? I it's you know it's chill. It happens to the best of us. Are they? Yeah. I can't tell if they're on a pace because the live split is quite teeny. I think that's still red splits for Plex. This is a 52 yeah. right now in the vertical section. We have Plex's PB at a 54.45. I don't so think that should be a red. Chance. Um, it looked like it was red, but maybe it sounds like some goal splits or something in there. I can't. This sounds winnable if you give Isaac the keyboard. Also, just winnable. Period. <laughs> but oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Commercial Plex break in bit. progress. <laughs> Never mind. You, I Twitch. hope you lose your run flex. I hope you lose. I'm kidding. What? <laughs> if that is. <laughs> Ice. Good news is we got Blaze in the bottom right, saving and quitting, finishing out the speed run. The 8A heart room, dashing down right, down right, down right, jumping. Oh, oh, oh! Look at the movement. Look at the moves. Look at the play is faker. And the old oh, I'm you were sorry. definitely playing League recently. That was my bad. <laughs> First of all, yes. Second of all, is that not like a synonymous call? You say, look at the moves, look at the plays, <laughs> Faker or something like that. Is that something not like, like one that. of the most like top ten iconic like esports caster mom moments next to like okay, this okay. is Rocket League or something? Fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, Blaze coming in a l just around a minute behind PV, I believe that was. Yeah, Blaze previously has a 56.19 PB, 57.28 here, so not too bad for this run. Lex getting trolled by bumpers a little bit. All too relatable. Bumpers will sometimes just not want to agree with you. I think this can still PB. This section should only take a little bit over a minute, and she's well yeah. on her way through it. This is winnable. I believe. Go Plex. If we get another ad, I'm personally disqualifying Plex from the Summer Showdown. <laughs> summer of Arb. Even though I don't think I have the authority to do that, I do not care. You'll make it work. I will I will use my, my top player privilege, my YouTuber powers to uh 
I don't know. I don't think being a top player in Portugal 2 counts here, Sushi. Okay, man. All right. <laughs> Flex, just finish the run. Let's see it. Oh, no! <laughs> just a little... No, that's so sad. Oh. Got all the speed Still a 20 world. second PB. Yeah, that's Very so pretty solid. Done. Alrighty, now we've got some times on oh. there. Oh, Sir Newt finishing up at 56.07 as well here. That's only 20 seconds off of PB for Newt here, too. All nice and close. Oh yeah, and the leaderboard is up on the right now, on the right side of your screen. Be scrolling occasionally. The top 16 cutoff currently at just under 54 minutes. We've got about uh, 20 more players to submit times, though, so that'll, I'm sure, be dropping over the coming hours. What does the red dot mean next to us? Uh, it means they're on stream currently. Oh, oh my god, that's genius. <laughs> <laughs> that took me a minute. I was like, wait, aren't they all streaming? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, I need a sip of water. <laughs> Massive shout outs to the tech team that made this possible. This, is, uh, this layout is much more involved than our normal one. Yes, incredible work as always. Thank you to everyone working behind the scenes. I'm, again, very happy to be able to participate in this without having to put in the hard work behind. I just get to come up here and commentate for an excellent event. We can ruin the entire brand just by not putting any work into it. Isn't that insane? <laughs> Anyways, this is uh, the weird parts where we'd see a lot of runners who, are finished, who finished their first run looking into going into their second, resetting a lot. Maybe we'll see the reset tolerance go up as runners maybe already have that time on the board and want to get that PB, want to get that, you know, huge green splits, want to uh, get the huge gold splits, want to want to say, oh my gosh, stream, mainstream, look, I'm, I'm minus one minute ahead, so we'll get a couple of those coming in. And we'll also have uh, runners who... Maybe we're a bit slower, less experienced in the category, finishing out their runs as well, and runners who reset earlier on to the first run opted not to do a full no resets, finishing their runs as well. As you still see at the bottom of the leaderboard, uh, a lot of runners who still don't have times yet because they haven't finished runs. So whether that be because of a skill issue or whether that be because of a reset issue. But yeah, already looking at the top of the leaderboard, we have uh, Isaac and Gooms just absolutely chilling. Yeah, with that 46-19 uh, and 48-11, yeah, hanging out are, pretty high up the leaderboard there. What are what are the odds we see uh we we see uh that that Isaac time be beaten? The 46-19? Yeah. The odds that he beats it? I think at least Isaac beating it again, the odds are pretty good because, again, I did mention a little bit earlier, he has gotten some 45s, and including low 45s, practicing and getting prepared for this event. I think he's been within almost seconds of his PB just recently. So I would not be surprised in the slightest if he manages to pull out a mid-45 uh, in the course of just day one here, not even necessarily day two. Hmm. Yeah, Isaac has always been pretty impressively consistent when it comes to full game running. Definitely an advantage in the Strawberry Showdown here. We don't have as much time to get a good run in overall as you would if you're just playing at home for your own PBs. See, looks like a total of six runners currently for the sub-50 time. Uh, with people like Tio not having that yet, I'm sure that number will increase <laughs> soon. That guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he'll he'll come back stronger. I have faith. If anyone has potential for a comeback here, I would think that the... 4B tournament champion TO98 is capable. Very true. One what's embarrassing right now. We uh -oh. have two oh oh my god. It is uh Reset City. 
here for our, at least the, the top two screens, Cernu just reset and Tokikumo as well, heading, heading back to the prologue. 1A, definitely one of the more challenging chapters in this category to play quickly. Um, it's just very difficult to not make significant mistakes. Well said. Yeah, I think when it comes to relative difficulty for the chapters, City is somewhere around the middle of the pack, but having that difficulty from the very beginning of the run can be quite tough. At least when you get into old site, you get a bit more of a break. That being generally recognized as the easiest chapter in Horrid Berries nowadays. So, so far, from what I remember, we've seen Ickle Chris taking 6A, but have there been other runners taking 6A over 6B at this point? No, uh, everyone else in the tournament has played sure, 6B. Well, surely some that we may no. not have just seen it on screen. <laughs> nope. Actually, every, everyone's playing 6B. This is 2023. That's just so true, I'm sushi. I can't, I can't fault that logic. <laughs> I like had a culture, not a culture shock. I, I'll call it a boomer shock the other day where like I it's, it's like two weeks ago someone in my chat was talking about learning Celeste and they're talking about 5B and I'm like you're learning to speed on any percent and you're learning 5B which like makes perfect sense given the the 2020 state of Celeste but it's like oh my god these kids don't don't know what it's like to speed on 5A <laughs> the times have changed my friend nowadays almost when somebody's playing through any percent and they come to the point where they're learning Mirror Temple, if they're going to learn one or the other, it's almost always going to be 5B. Yeah. Oh yeah, and as Dan is saying in chat here, late 2020, this was already something that started to happen. God. This is why any percent is the bad category and you should be <laughs> playing ARB like Super Meat Boy 10 Cookie Wibs in Detroit. All here have very different points in the run. We have... All these runners finishing around the high 56, low 57 for the first run. With the exception of Detroit E, who is pause buff? What am I watching? <laughs> it's pause buff pause buff for flag 9A, flag uh, 9 action. Okay, this That's is epic. incredible. That is, that is so epic. I'm so proud. This A is little the bit of frustration there. I wonder, I wonder what other pause buffering tech we have, uh, we have in store for us. Yeah, it's not too common that you see very much for pause buffering, but there are definitely a few individuals who, after it came around, have taken extensive advantage of it. So far though, Detroit is the only player I've seen in this tournament doing so. Uh, one thing I will mention, you may see uh, Creep Crafting having finished a 1 hour 19 minute run in 1 hour 12 minutes RTA. There were a few people that we allowed to play a week ago because they were unavailable this weekend. Um, they and Random Name were two of those. I believe also Cactus and Roma finished times uh, last weekend as well. Thank you. Detroit will be finishing a 22 minute summit. So looking at the leaderboard here, when it flips back around to show the uh, top 10 or so players, I'm curious if either of y'all have any predictions how things might be changing around. Because at the moment, I think we had the top three as Isaac, uh, Gooms, and Enin. And then a little bit below that, I think there was some Luca and Tio and a few other names. I'm wondering where the places might be swapping around here. Yeah, I'd be curious, um, all those runners around, uh, the, like, 47 range. Uh, I mean, they're already near the top, but, uh, like, Tio, Uka, Vertle, honestly, too, and even, like, Enin. Although, Enin just literally PB'd, so I don't know, uh, you know, it's either the star's the limit, the sky's the limit, or maybe they've already hit their limit, because 
has got a PB, but seeing how all those runners will place as uh, they're near the top, and uh, if all seem to be quite practiced, putting in a lot of time into the category before this event, so it's really interesting to see uh, who will get the leg up between uh, all those close to the top runners. Goom's also in there as well, already setting a really good time though, so we'll see. Because you can already see behind all those, I guess Quan is also in that mix too, but everyone there, and then there's a whole pack there at uh, 52-53. We're just a whole absolute uh, jumble for. Yeah, and I'm seeing uh, I'm seeing like seven players currently with a PB of 51 minutes. Um, so that that mid 50 range may become pretty important. Um, we'll see how many of them can come close to PB and if that ends up being um, near or at the cutoff. And yeah, Detroit reset their run, so we're. Uh... We're, we're all early game boys now. Yeah, Wibbs just earlier, though, wasn't having too great of a time in old sight here either, unfortunately. Dying with a berry near the end of start, thankfully able to go back for it a while back there. But that was something in the range of a 20 to 30 second deficit caused by that berry loss. So not the best start to a run going on now for Wibbs, but continuing all the same. Keep forgetting that Super Meat Boy's got the file time on live split. Yeah. Yeah, thankfully we do have it on screen somewhere. <laughs> A couple mistakes of runners forgetting to set file time, but those were sorted out relatively quickly. We hope getting that nice little corner kit for, kick for the winged berry and awake here. Finishing up old site now. Oh, and Super Meat Boy 10 not quite hitting the back check there first try, having to wait out the cycle instead. It's definitely a bit of an awkward movement going up that sort of vertical tunnel on your way back to the resort heart here. But if you're able to hit it first try, that is a nice juicy second you can get. Let's see Super Meat Boy getting this heart at about 10.30. We can check in on Cookie in about a minute to compare paces there. Both having a very similar submitted times currently. I think I'm going to learn so many strats just from watching so much art this weekend. <laughs> Some osmosis. Yeah. Strat learning. Oh, Meat Boy, not quite hitting the super after getting the coin there. It's an 80% strat, but all the same can still be a little bit awkward trying to uh, get through that portion of chests. Alright, so Cookie about... 20, 25 seconds behind Super Meat Boy here. Oh, Detroit losing a berry in City. Yeah, I'm just going to hit the reset. Get a new run going. It's worth noting here, three hours is a lot of time, but like realistically... That is three all red berries runs. So. Yep, you gotta use your time wisely. You can't use it all. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there are two days here, two sessions, but uh, still quite limited in your number of attempts. Yeah, doing multiple no resets might be getting finished runs for a player, but it's definitely not as strategic as figuring out when a good time to reset really is. Trying to find the balance between resetting too aggressively or not to actually get a good finished run out, though, can be the hardest part here. Especially given I... that late game is known to be one of the more difficult parts of this of this run. 
We got a one v one here. here. Marky, who is uh, getting absolutely thrashed by this room in the core, will finally wait out the cycle and is able to get through it gracefully. And Vertle here in the Golden Ridge. And dying a lot trying to get this berry. Instead, ops for the upright. With Marky's PB at awkward berries. With Marky's PB at 118.07, there is still on uh, comfortable PB pace here. This is oh, quite yeah. comfortable. <laughs> wow. Got about a little over five minutes of leeway in what is. Well, I think, or three minutes of leeway, rather, for because there's about two minutes left in the chapter when played pretty optimally. Although, I'm not sure Marky is all too familiar with Core here, so hopefully a PB can still be made out of this pace. Yeah, meanwhile, Vertal definitely... Meanwhile, Vertal is definitely on, like, comfortable sub-50 pace, I'd say, uh, with a low 18 ridge exit. Uh, that's looking pretty solid. Marky mix, missing the switch on the way up there. Not quite able to turn on the conveyors. Yeah, this room is definitely a bit of a point to struggle in, given how long it is here, just climbing vertically all the way to the battle and at the top. Oh. Bonks there and almost misses said, it. Yeah. Oh, no cutscene to skip there, Marky. Careful. <laughs> Retrying would not be a fun way to, uh, Cut off that room. Riddle's put more time into this category than I expected. I think he's historically been very much an any percent monkey. Uh, but this 5A start is looking very practiced. Yeah, Vertle has gotten a few sub-2 5-arb starts by now, I believe. Sub-2 being a very difficult time to achieve. I think... I don't know how many runners have accomplished it, but definitely less than 15, I believe. That sounds about right. Yeah, very difficult checkpoint to play well and quickly. There have been some new changes to it in recent times. Like, there's been a, a new route where... The bottom section of berries is played later to save. I think it was around a second and a half to two seconds. Where you instead start out by just getting almost all of the top berries and entering the checkpoint and going back for the bottom ones and returning to map to enter depths again. Bit convoluted, but Math Hacker found it to save time for tasks and then it was tested to save time for humans too. Yeah, I think it was even more more time saved for RTA runners. Yeah, it was something in the matter of frames, I think, for for tasks, but yeah, a couple seconds ish mm -hmm. for people. This is invested in this cycle. cassette room. Oh, oh no! Come on, Marky. Using both of those dashes pretty early, having to bob and weave through the fire up here soon. Makes he wins these. Though. We got a PB Bruin here for Marky, looking to be in the range of about a minute 45 or so of a PB. Not quite familiar with the Ultra Chain there, going back to get some more dashes. There we go, closing out at 116. Very nicely done. Congrats That's my to Marky. Goat right there. You do have a lot of goats lately, M Sushi. Hey man. Just uh you gotta respect the hustle when you see it. <laughs> I respect it. You know, prof, just in case no one has ever told you today, you're my goat. Thank you, M Sushi. <laughs> Truly only you're my goat would say that. I know you're thinking it's probably hollow to call multiple people the greatest of all time, but you just simply don't understand how it works.
something something. If everyone's great, no one will be. <laughs> no. No. I Thank you for your words wonder, of support, M. Sushi. I can only wonder how much of a a goose, a silly goose you are, because uh, uh. <laughs> how are you gonna fit this one in? I oh, these are tough. You guys, got, Vapor and Evan, gotta get better names. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but uh, Evan looks like just got back from a break, just absolutely pondering their 4837, changing their controls, or maybe had something bugged in the first place, and get back into it shortly. While wondering, Goof Goose. Well, into the resort here. Well, Goof Goose is at the start. Wonders, and well, into the huge mess finishing it out here. I would hope that Ennen wasn't having controller configuration issues, but if he did, then getting a second of a PB was very impressive. Yeah, that's showman. Like, you know, I do I do that all the time. Sometimes I just change my bindings for fun and get PBs. Oh yeah, just put it in a randomizer real quick. Shuffle <laughs> yeah. them around. Yeah. Every M Sushi runs a PV though, so. True. The, the more I look at Wonder's screen, I want one of those keyboards. Those look sick. I'm sure that yeah, it looks pretty, pretty comfy. Nice. I know that Dan, Sleepy Dan, has another interesting approach to that, in that he has a keyboard he really likes that's only about forty or fifty dollars or so, and he just bought two of them. And stances them up next to each other real wide. That's genius! <laughs> oh my gosh! This is, uh... <laughs> that's, that's actually a Truly really next idea. level. Yeah. Yeah, and if you start wearing down that part of the keyboard, you just switch which is where. Yeah, it's that simple. All right, Wonder Demo Dash. Let's see it first try every time. Bada bing, bada boo. It's too free. Nice little pause buffer to get that one frame jump into climb jump there. Oh. Setting up, I think that's a six frame window if you hit it like that for the demo. Makes it nice and comfy. Hello. Hello. Hey, man, what's up? Hey, Welcome back, Ellen Jax. Vapo hitting C pop. First try, you love to see it. Getting out of shrine there. Coming out of that portion at a 252 pace here. I think that's still losing around 15 to 20 seconds for Vapo, if I recall, but not terrible for Golden Ridge, given this is a very difficult chapter. I do see green splits overall at the very least, it looks like. I see a gold split for Goose. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Getting a nice 3A start. What is that time? It looks to be about a 203 if I'm reading the splits correctly there. Maybe a 202 something. Very solid that, for that's chill. start. Yeah. So chill. <laughs> I'm using the word chill too much. That's that's really this is some chill Celeste Arb to relax and study too. Just a chill and funny guy. Facts. Featuring such chill music as the 4B remix by In Love with a Ghost. Banger. Everybody's favorite doot doot doot. I don't think anybody would ever hate that song. Surely. Oh, Vapo's setting up an interesting position there to get the wave dash corner boost. I haven't seen that one before. Climbing to a certain spot on that wall rather than just going for the extended hyper. I have not seen that before either. Kind of clever. Hey commentators, what's going on with the color of Enin's time? I believe it's gold because of the fact that Enin has a PB with that time. I might not. Incorrect be buzzer. Incorrect. Oh no. Bronze because he has the third fastest time oh. in the event right now. Oh. Incredible. Thank you. 
Prof, I thought the same thing. I just wasn't going to say it because I didn't know. <laughs> I, should I was willing to take the out. risk for you. <laughs> I was willing to throw myself into the gauntlet. I thought the same thing. I'm like, is that a different color to be like signifying PV or is that a bronze? The chat got it. The chat got it. They, they know what's up. The chat's smarter than me, man. We all get there in the end. You're looking at Vapo's splits right now. And or well both Vapo and Goof Goose actually, according to their splits, are solidly green right now. Vapo almost a full minute ahead, and then Goof Goose coming at minus twenty, just about minus twenty three, I think that is into sweet. Trying to figure out what Vapo's comparing to. I think it says latest. Fifty one forty it looks like is Vapo's comparison run. If it's latest then let's see. What was Vapo's PB? Not PB. 49.15. Yeah, that is, so that is latest quite run. far from his PB. Still, the latest run is pretty relevant here because it would be improving upon his current time for the open stage here. Oh, hello, Mr. Isaac. Isaac on oh. the big screen. First place with that 46. He's minus 25! Oh, He's no. minus 25! <laughs> What? <laughs> I, in the RTM I don't, on that depth spare. I don't want to see the screen for another instant. We're just going to get a 45, man. We can watch other stuff. This is pointless. <laughs> he, this if is he's so... minus 25, that's 44 pace, mind you. This, this is... This is point... Do we know if he's comparing against PB or... Uh, well, or latest? Is, the best exit is of 24.47, was it? 24, 24.42 out of this chapter, rather. Um, oh, so he's on, he's, on, he's on four, theoretical 44 pace. He, yeah. Yes, this is theoretical 44 pace I, right That's now. cool. I, we, can, we can go back to the other runners now. That's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? This he's isn't even like... Plus... He maybe did one reset, if even. Like, he probably just took a break between another run and went right into it. Got a 27 I told you, he's consistent. Continued it. This it's is so stupid. Impressive. I hate this guy. <laughs> Much more a fan of the underdog, are you? <laughs> it's, you know... Listen, man. Gotta take down the big dog. You can't have him at the top of the leaderboard forever. This is true. Here's how Ickle Chris can still win. Here's how... <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Also, we're halfway through our, uh, our time. A little over, actually. About halfway plus a minute now, so... Uh, of course, runners can start runs past the allotted time, but just worth noting halfway down now, so. This is now where if these runners that haven't completed runs yet, they're probably start, starting shivering, shaking a little bit, being like, oh, I gotta finish a run. We are being informed by chat that he is only nine seconds ahead of his actual PB and that these are instead splits for the tournament that were made fresh. But still, nine seconds ahead of PB... That's cutting it close to what could be potential for 44, for sure. Yeah, th this is chill, man. This is a uh, average Isaac <laughs> Tay run. Every run is chill today. But I, I don't... I've been looking at... Uh, I don't think he's made any major mistakes since we've tuned in on this 5A. No, he's been... Holding very well to what I would expect. We'll see it when uh, the first page of the leaderboard comes back in a little bit, but there's a couple pairs of players that actually currently have very similar posted times. Oh. Uh, you'll see it in the low 50 range. We got Olivia, Salt, Quan, and Sir Newt all here uh, in the mirror temple with the exception of newt who's in ridge yeah so we've got two 5249s oh and two Ooh. 5251s so uh That's that, that high 52 five range frames. is really close together the the 8 through 14 spot is like crazy there's like seven runners there and it's like 20 seconds yeah got some tight competition going up there yeah again worth mentioning here that after the end of day two, the top 16 runners from this event will be qualified to move on to the uh, double elimination tournament afterward. 
Yes, availability permitting. Mm -hmm. So if we have some runners in the top 16 who aren't able to make it, then the next person on and so on until we fill all the top 16 spots will be those qualified for the tournament. If you're getting trolled by seekers right now, these guys are pretty mean. That's frustrating, yeah. What kind of pace is Quan on here? Let's see. We got Quan at 28.15 at about 45 seconds into uh, reflection here. So that's a 27.30 exit of Temple. So just around, just about 50 minute time, I believe. If holding close to general averages. Crash run, reset. <laughs> Sorry, I have to be the toxic caster. No one else is doing it. <laughs> Somebody's got to be the bad cop around here. I, I, I just got to say what everyone's really thinking. We got Quan's PB as a 48.58. So only seven seconds off of it with Quan's previous open stage run. So he was already holding very close to it there. Improving upon that is possible. This run isn't as good of a pace, but he's continuing it and not resetting. So there must be hope within that. The further you are from world record in a category, especially like this, you know, the more margin for error you've got to not necessarily reset every run, even if you're a little bit behind. Because uh, with a beast of a chapter like Summit, you know, popping off there can save you, you know, a minute. And we have Salt in search here at the moment. Trying to get across to that right side can be a little bit difficult at times, making that full jump. Oh, and some pretty fast grounded ultras and such going back over to the route down to this bottom berry. I haven't quite seen the movement for that before. We got Quan in the falling section of 6B as well here. This is always so cool to watch, in my opinion. Seeing people fly through the section going downward. You wanna drop the did you know gaming fact, Sushi? I'm good. You're good. You can do it. Okay. I, I don't need to either. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's chill. We'll just leave it as a cliffhanger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely hanging on a cliff after that one. Sorry, I just like <laughs> needed to read chat just the good comms, these casters suck. So I'm gonna change up the, the commentary just for a second. Let me <clears throat> let, let me uh <clears throat> Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to Strawberry Showdown Summer of Arb 2023. We got four great runners on the screen right now. We have Olivia all the way in 6B. Oh, an unfortunate death right there. We'll get back to her in just a bit. Assault here, absolutely crushing it here. And wait, what's the 5A checkpoint called? Rescue. Rescue, absolutely crushing and rescue here. Now we Theo, bop the seeker, hit the button, get the berry perfectly. And that's the only berry here in rescue. Quan, look at this masterful gameplay through 6B, grabbing onto the dash crystal, getting right through battle line, taking that feather over to the next room. We'll see hopefully some cool movements. Will there be a feather skip coming out from Quan? Up dash, super, avoids the crystal, and beautiful from Quan. In the bottom right, we got Sir Newt collecting these berries with absolute ease here in cliff face. Four spectacular runners and 40 more in the events, all trying to finish their runs here. It's going to be a jam-packed weekend. And, uh, yeah, I just want to say, uh, if you're new to the stream here, this is uh, Strawberry Showdown, Summer of Arby 2023. I'm M. Sushi. I'm joined with Prof and Jax. And uh, we're here to break this all down for you as these runners will try to get the best possible time in Celeste All Red Berries. Thank you very much for that, M. Sushi. At the moment, we have Quan entering reprieve just now will we be seeing any of the nope no pause multi boost going on here it's a bit more of a difficult strat so would have been a little bit surprised to see it but going into this next room here we got a nice little ultra coming up i believe straight to battling over that block there 
Getting through this nice and easy. Meanwhile, we have Salt at the very start of Reflection, taking that feather up. Oh, and Sir Newt finishing off the ridge here. Getting a 555 in that chapter and a 2032 exit. How's that holding up for Sir Newt's pace here? I think that should be on, you know, pretty good for getting a faster time here. I'd expect to see him able to, you know, close out maybe a sub 55, depending upon how the next couple chapters go. Yeah, fine pace. I'm curious now to see Quan out of 6B here. This is pretty good. Going to be like a 430, We're, uh, barring any catastrophic failures, or depending what uh, strategy does here in the heart room. But Taking the end of that last battle line room a little bit safe, just due to being a little bit off cycle there. Not wanting to get shot by the laser right at the end. Yeah, 432. What I'm surprised about so far is not seeing too many instances of caster's curse coming in here. I, I got you. Like when... Don't worry about it. Oh, all right. Is Isaac's right, on, on pace. Oh, production switch to Isaac. I'll make him end his run really <laughs> quick. <laughs> Wonder how he's hanging in there. He should be in either reflection or summit by this point, if I'm recalling correctly what his pace was like. But it's, there's a chance that he reset, and that's why we haven't revisited him. Could have had a run that went bad, unfortunately, somewhere. I don't trust production. They didn't show us Isaac's 46. <laughs> so I'm, I'm assuming right now he's like minus a minute, but you know, chat will probably correct this at any point in time. Getting word from Restreamer about that request. No. We've been overruled. Very, very disappointing. Well, you can't have them all from the caster's chair. Very disappointing. Do these guys even know who I am? <laughs> Are you going to flash your uh, YouTube partner badge at them, perhaps? Uh, no, because YouTube partner is not a thing. <laughs> or a technically shame. is a thing. It, it is a thing. It's just not the thing. Well, Twitch yeah. partner didn't seem as prestigious, given uh, uh, the M Sushi status. That is true. How green is Olivia there in the top left? Yeah, it's is three that, digits. Is that a colon or a decimal? That looks point? like minutes I'm seeing there. Yeah. Minutes of green. Looking to be going pretty good there. What's the comparison for Olivia? I can't quite tell. Uh, I, I believe that is her... the 5614 from the event, though. Yep. Isn't yeah, it? exactly. And that's that run is about five minutes off PB, so definitely looking to improve on that. Um, probably some more time to save and summit here. I'd expect we'll be seeing her close out a run much closer to PB here if nothing goes awry. Yeah, she could very well be catching up to the main pack here, getting into that top 16. Oh, oh no. Running into a Yikes. very unfortunate death at the very end of this room here. This is one of the longest deaths you can take in this whole chapter, chasing after battle and through this whole sequence with the laser. Oh, oh narrowly avoiding at that time. Not even close. <laughs> Not close. When we Wasn't worried for you. a second. The poetic... L in this room is will truly never get old to me. <laughs> All right, we got bullet, bullet, and bullets and TNT. We have a lot of <laughs> we have a lot <laughs> of weapons from production I, here. Sensing some, some I, I nonsense think, going on here. I think production. A little is bit of tomfoolery. <laughs> I. What is My, what explosive gameplay we're watching right now? They're truly flying oh, through these one. chapters. <laughs> TNT go bang, managing a skip. I wonder how long they've Ooh. been waiting to do this. Ooh. Bullet yeah, Bill leaning Bullet in Bill. real close here to check no. out the demo. Gotta see that pixel. There you go. There you go. Any coral checkings in the chat? <laughs> I'm like, what? I are... no longer subscribed to Coral Reef, unfortunately. Bullet Bill and Bullet Infi are actually like really close in, in their first couple of resets. Or their first, their before, their first no resets. Oh yeah, I see that. About 109. It's nice. 27 seconds apart from each other. 
and I'm I'm curious here. TNT is currently minus three minutes on a 121. Depending on how their cork go, they could get very close to Bullet Dancer's time. A, a lot of interesting small rivalries between uh, these players you might not even heard of before this event. And of course, TNT's uh, current reported PB for us is a 127. So potentially oh, okay. has improved quite a bit in the last couple days here. I do see the 121 there on the splits, but... Yeah, if yeah, this but... run plays out according to pace with that minus three from TNT's last split, he's going to be, that's nine minutes of just about ahead of recorded PV that we have here. So that'll be a huge improvement to be seen here. Mm. Oh, run into a little trouble at the end of this room, though. Definitely always been a danger. You guys want to know what I'd really love to see over the course of this weekend? What would that be, M Sushi? I would love to see a runner finish a run, but not get all 175 fairies and have that oh. moment of realization. Oh no. Well, we've already had somewhat of that. Um, I saw a Vapo comment earlier, uh, 168 jump scare in epilogue. So Vapo had missed two berries on their first <laughs> run. <laughs> oh no. Vapo. I'd like to know the story behind that. I think you know, we yeah, actually... You, you, you... Oh, I'll go. Uh, when when uh, we saw Vapo near the beginning of the session, he actually died with a berry right as the screen swept away. But I didn't get a chance to mention it then. <laughs> I was gonna say you'd think it would be like more common for runners to like forget a collectible, especially when there's 175 of them. But if you play Arb enough, like the the route just becomes muscle memory. It's embedded not embedded in your mind. You know, I personally, um, as a new Celeste speedrunner who mainly speedruns on this Portal, which is a puzzle game, people are always like. Wow, like how do you m remember how to do all the puzzles? Like that—that that is not the hard part. Similar to how an arb finding all the berries is is not the hard part. Was I doing it for the first time though? Pretty tough. Yes, learning the route is tough, but once you have it learned, you're unless you're vapo. Apparently, you're not gonna f randomly lose berries. <laughs> Do you guys uh, remember that one clip of Flare Bear playing bingo? Oh, my oh God, no, sure in you. 2K? <laughs> yeah. 2,000 meters. Somebody's got to hunt yeah. that clip down for us now. Some, someone will find the clip. Uh, I think it's on Oddbot's channel. It is on Oddbot's channel. I won't describe the clip, but uh, back in the day in 2018, 2019, I believe it was 2019. I mean, any percent was the meta. It was the only thing Celeste Speedrunners would ever did. But Bai was the only person who played all red berries, and that was about it. And uh, there was a bingo. We, we were paving the way for what was Celeste Bingo. So these were like the first couple of bingo generators. Um, and Flare Bear was playing on pace to win a game. And all he had to do was get the objective all berries in 2000 meter. Um, truth be told, Flare Bear did not know where all the berries were in 2000 meter. Uh, so I don't even... This screen is so insignificant in every single category. But it's like the screen two rooms after the secret path in 2k right at the Here start i've got it yeah it's where it's just wind facing you to the left and you have to hit a bunch of springs and he was just he was dashing up on every single <laughs> ceiling yeah and there was like not a hidden room there good Some times ancient good times. celeste community lore right there Yes, as we know, M. Sushi is, in fact, Celeste Grandfather. This is surprisingly true. I was actually back in my diapers speedrunning Celeste. And now we've had so many new generations come and, and go, honestly. Lots of people yeah. have started and stopped running the game since 2018. I miss Nero. The true goat. Forever and always. Hey, how are these runners doing? A gold split from Bullet Dancer. And TNT is into uh, the cassette room. <laughs> Missing <laughs> the hyper trouble. dash. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Minus 330, anything. though. So there's lots of room for this to totally be okay, even with deaths in the final cassette room here. But if he wants to be Bullet Dancer's time, I, I don't think he can. He can. Oh, no. <laughs> with right noting there's here. three different cycles to manage in this room. Uh, this can be very challenging have, no. without oh. sufficient practice. No. Come on. Come on, TNT. You got this. I believe yep. 
No! No, not a f jump! <laughs> no! Oh my... You're so close! Oh no, man. Uh, bullet bell on the bottom left, though, pulling up to the heart. Not gonna opt for fast heart this time. There we First go. Try. Thank goodness. Ooh, and Bullet Infi having a little bit of trouble trying to get the wall kick strat for the winged berry, though. Ops to go around instead of retrying it. Pretty nice ultras there from TNT. And we're going to see, I believe, an 1810. Or, excuse me, 11810. Finishing out their first run there. 10 second or a berry speed run. Real. Okay, we got some new uh, challengers here. We have a race in the summit at the top. Nova yeah, and Ke Catman. Kevin and Nova already deep into their second runs here. Must not have been resetting very much from either player. And we also see the contrary. Detroit Yeet does not have a completed time and is in the Forsaken City. We got an hour 10 left, so not a lot more rooms for a ton of resets. Well, an hour 10 to reset, and then you can finish the run. That is true. Going the under route for this berry in the top left. That was interesting. Would not have expected that. Didn't quite manage it, unfortunately. Another thing interesting about this set of runners, and Catman in particular, from what I'm told, Catman has only just learned the category of ARB over the past two or three weeks, and is coming in already getting a 52 in the event here. And with a uh, PB outside of the event of a 51-53. So some yeah, really insane. rapid progress from Catman. That's messed up. Also the only Norwegian runner playing today. Oh. Just a little bit of trivia for you. Wow. Shout out Norway. See, I'm trying to figure out what we're looking at on Noah's Bliss here. It looks like comparing to the last run he completed, and we're about a minute ahead. A very oh, yeah, solid pace here to finish out at 53. Also worth noting, those splits that Nova's comparing to see about a six-minute core, uh, so potentially some room for improvement there. Not sure what uh, his best chapter time is in that in that one. Meanwhile, in the bottom right, we have Ad finishing up elevator shaft here and getting into presidential suite. Going okay here. Got through the last elevator shaft room without too much incident. Although sweet here with Oshiro at your back all the time can be a little bit stressful. Is that back to back gold for Nova? Oh yeah, that is. Two golds in a row for Nova on the top right here in Summit. These do look like splits that were made specifically for the Summer of Arb event here today, though, given that it looks like one completed run in the top corner of them. Oh, sure. Still, though, yeah, best but... checkpoint of the day. Take all your victories, no matter how small. Absolutely. Ad here is crushing Oshiro. Very clean last room here. Nicely done. Yes, yeah, some decently smooth sailing there through the end. 1750 exit for Ad there. Uh oh. Uh, oh Missing some wait. berries. Yep, not quite. <laughs> Guess a few must have been lost along the way, and going back was not something that you really have the option for at some points anymore in a in huge mess here because the rooms get blocked off after you leave them so if you go a little bit too far with a berry can't really turn around for it without coming back at the end like she just has meanwhile nova finishing up 2500 are we going to see another gold on these splits perhaps we are three in a row well 
pretty gaming solid time. summit. We are gaming. Looks like that's a sub 10, 3,000 meters entry. I'm looking over at Catman in the top left. He is, it looks like, comparing against his PB splits of the 51. Yes. And is green here going into 3K in the, uh, well, finishing up updraft almost here, actually. I'm not quite sure how long it's been and if that's still playing out to that pace, but it's looking to be still pretty solidly ahead. With about, what is that, about a minute and 10 seconds to finish up no draft here. So this could be 25 to 30 seconds ahead here for Catman. Yeah, and this may end up being a very insignificant run for, uh, you know, the, the borderline placements, top 16. Yeah, because if we're looking on the right here, that section of runs, we have 8 through 15 is almost an, all within a minute of each other right there. So getting ahead of that pack is a nice bit of security if Catman can manage here after finishing up Summit and heading to Core. We now have 40 players with a submitted time. More people getting those runs in. Yeah, and we're coming up on uh, about two hours spent. So ideally, if you view it as like the average runner takes around an hour, which isn't totally true, you'd see around two full runs now by this point, approximately. This is a really rough approximation. So the runners who haven't gotten a run yet are definitely uh, waiting out for a good one. And granted, they not only have another hour of resets and more time to finish that run, but they also have a whole nother day, so not too big of a reason to get concerned yet. Yeah, I suspect we may see uh, some players, you know, just getting comfortable with, um, you know, playing a few hours session like this. Um, I know with uh, an input intensive game like Celeste, you know, it can be hard to play for so long in a row. We, we have been encouraging players to take handbrakes as needed. Um, hand health is very important. True. Yeah, wearing down your hands too much for the sake of the competition would not be worth it. Take care of your hands, folks. And a new challenger approaches. Still have Catman on the stream here, but we believe we've swapped out the rest to Ponko, Maradon, and Tom. Tom also in core in what looks to be some green splits here. Ooh. So both yeah, Catman hit... and Tom looking to potentially PB or at least improve on their previous times. This is so silly. They're literally like... They're going from, from a, yeah, they're point three from each other, and they're also about to both improve their times. <laughs> Could be coming out pretty close here. Yeah, Tom Looking... seems to be a little bit ahead of Catman in terms of the pace, but that could change around a bit in the vertical and horizontal sections here. Defs can be pretty punishing. Looking at uh, our spread of PBs currently, the 16th place PB is Catman with a 51.53. And actually Tom with a 51.51. So yeah, even even in that regard, they are right <laughs> next to each other. Even their actual VBs are so close. Wow. Definitely some tight competition for these two here then. Ponkel finishing up Resort. With a 1428 and a 746 chapter time there. So that's looking at somewhere in the 55 ish range in terms of pace. Roughly around where Ponko's PB is. So not too bad. A 
Oh, Catman going for the lava wall bounce there on the left side in this vertical section. That's always a cool strat to see. You get a few pixels of extra leniency to either kick off of or do a wall bounce off of the uh, lava portions because you are able to kick off a little bit further away from the wall than the actual hitbox is, even though hitbox, I think, is behind where the lava would hit you. I think both Catman and Tom are on PB pace right now. Definitely looks like it. Tom going into this the last smell. couple rooms here, and Catman only a few behind that. Oh, Tom having some trouble at the beginning of the cassette oh. room. Entered at 50.35 just now. We'll see how Catman matches up to that in just a moment. 50.42 cassette touch as well. Yeah, it's looking like Catman is somewhere around 10 seconds behind Tom. What is oh, this route no. from Catman? I had never seen that before. He, Maybe it, missing it, an input early. Yeah, he got an accidental corner boost instead of a demo hyper early, so he didn't get enough speed and was trying to improvise something, but not turning in his favor. Maybe we the see PB Tom finishing out him. a 50 second PB from Tom. Yeah, wow. Catman's still looking to PB by about 25 seconds here, I believe. Somewhere in that range, yeah. Congratulations to Tom, and hopefully Catman can finish this out smoothly here in the heart room. The snug has been broken, unfortunately. Runners separated on the leaderboard. But PBs, I think, though. Fortunately, this is a great thing. Yeah, double PB there. Wait, hello? Isaac I minus 50. Isaac got a 4528. Oh my goodness. 4528 flashing on the leaderboard for <laughs> Isaac. Hey. I'm, I'm not even paying attention. The leaderboard's just flashing minus 51 in the number one spot. <laughs> what? Okay, not, I, record. not worth pressed. noting. Not worth noting. <laughs> Average Isaac Tay speed run. Yeah, Isaac, as I said recently, did get a few low 45s even in preparation for the event here. So this 4528, very impressive. Not too out of the expectation, but yeah, very, very good. Not quite we world record see. though, as we said. 4512 is current current record. We also see Olivia finishing out a, a four-minute improvement here with a low 52. Very solid, much closer to PB. And on screen here, we got Wonder Deep into a run who... I know has a PB much better than that 54, but is looking on very, very convincing pace to beat that 54. If not possibly PB, I think? Well, that was, uh, let's see, about nine-minute entry on the... Uh, level timer into summit, so that would be like an 11, 1140 ish if this goes really well, maybe 1150, and that would come out to let's see here. Um, Some quick math. Trying to do the math <laughs> based on the the t two timers here. I think uh, I think it's probably barely not PBable for him, but I would love to be proven wrong. Spring double hits are very clean. Yeah, I tried to figure out the math. I couldn't. <laughs> Brain got a little bit too <laughs> scattered there. Gave up. I'm sure someone else can do it for me. Some green splits in the bottom left here from Super Meat Boy. Not not by a significant margin, but definitely still green. With error Brave. this far, I was gonna say with error this far into a second run after finishing out a 120, probably very little resetting from them. I was gonna say I'd also love to check in on all of our runners that haven't finished our run yet. Uh, it's so far it's only been the three Detroit Yeet, Mishi, and uh, Tanuki, who um, we've caught up with all of them at some point, I believe. So. Love to see them finish some runs today. 
Yeah, we've checked in on a few of them at different points. I know yeah. uh, Detroit, though, was recently an old site again. So right, definitely yeah. doing some resetting there for earlier runs. Maybe ended up a little bit tilted, but it can happen. Our Barrier says, great potential to be a frustrating category at times just because of the danger of losing berries. Because you can have a really amazing run going, but then just accidentally lose the wrong berry at the wrong time and end up losing a sudden chunk of 30 seconds or even more. Yeah, and we're getting all these PBs properly on the leaderboard here. Nova and Catman, two different PBs, but hugging each other tight there. On the ninth and tenth spot. On oh, Wonder struggling with his demo dash. Third try looks to be the charm. Ooh, oh my cutting gosh. it close on the exit there, though. Yeah. Yeah, that demo is hard enough to do in the first place, given you have to do two four frame window demos in a row for that setup to work. Or two four frame inputs, rather, for the second demo to work, I mean, with that particular setup. Squeezing by there as well on the way up to flag two. Uh, Super Meat Boy running into a little bit of trouble here in 6B start. Didn't quite get an extension on that last wave dash. 6B start can definitely be very volatile. I mean, the whole chapter, really. Now that we're into the last hour here, uh, we're going to start seeing some more time budgeting decisions, I think. You know, players may start resetting a pace if it's... Uh, even in, like, the middle chapters, if they're behind. Place lava here still just struggling to get out of city. It can be a, it can be a jail sometimes. The classic reset city. It's imprisoned us all at some point. Wonder how many collective hours have been spent in that chapter speedrunning it. <laughs> Far too many. The Celeste world is so much bigger than just the big city. <laughs> got Meat Boy finishing out the 6B first half in 222 there entering rock bottom. So that's a pretty solid, solid uh, falling section. It looks like a gold on Super Meat Boy splits even. Oh yeah, well. Quite the, the average Super Meat Boy pacer. Gets the feather skip as well. Wait, am I reading this right? Mm -hmm. Super Meat Boy 10, PB, 5649.5. <laughs> In the 5650 for the event. Really? Oh no. Wow. <laughs> Which Just means we are off. seeing a PB pace currently. And I suppose last run was one as well, given that Super Meat Boy's final time from his previous run was that 5650. Oh, not having a good time here in the last room of rock bottom, though. Pretty hard getting the right angle on that dash over to the bumper. Ooh, wonder not quite grabbing that conveyor there and falling off. Oh. Having a little bit of trouble with this cycle. Yeah, some ba bad deaths here. Yeah, this is for sure one of the most awkward rooms to get a death in. None of the deaths I close have really felt very comfortable, in my opinion.
like the top 16 time has come down about a minute since the first wave of submissions. Here with 15th currently, Toki Kumo at 53.02, and 16th with Maradon's 53.09. I think we're going to see Wonder entering the top 16 at the end of his run here because he's at 49.22 and about halfway through the vertical section. So there's only about yeah. like a couple minutes more in this level, and he has a 49.30 file time overall. So could yeah, this be should be 51 ball. Yeah, could be getting in pretty low there on the. Uh, Maybe in the top eight at that point. I'm, I didn't quite catch what the uh, what it was there. Let's see. Oh well, I guess uh, that would be top top twelve ish then at that point. I'd be curious how uh, a lot of the other runners near the top, Gooms, Enin, Quan, Vertel, Luca, Tio are all doing. We haven't seen from them in about an hour, and I'm sure they're all bugging the times in different ways. I'm sure they all have pretty high expectations for themselves, probably want to beat their PBs. I'm sure at this point, after the first runs have gone through, a lot of people are throwing a lot more resets into things. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Tio in particular, so with a 50.03 kind of surprises me a little bit, but mm. maybe just getting warmed up for the weekend. Warmed up for day two, you know. Uh, let's see, as we're getting down here towards the last hour of resets, I'll mention that um, Tom, Ninja, Bullet Bell, and Ad are four players today who will not have time to play tomorrow. Well, Whatever time they get today will be the time they set for this qualifying stage. That may be particularly significant for Tom, actually, with oh, um, yeah. the that fifty-one time. Or not? No, I'm thinking of some. Yeah, fifty-one oh two. That we'll have to see if that holds as top sixteen. I mean, that's solid. But there are definitely eight more players who are capable of beating that. So. Yeah, a little bit at risk. It could last all the way through to the next day, but we will have to see. All right, Wonder closes out the run. I didn't catch the final time, did either of you? No. <laughs> oh, oops. We're turning the map there. We didn't get a chance. It was to definitely see it. a P, like a, a very solid run. So it'll come through on the leaderboard, I'm sure. See it momentarily. All right, Tio's sure. pace here, sub 32 entering summit. Um, it's definitely pretty strong. Yeah, Tio is looking to improve his time by quite a bit here with this run. Yeah, um, so it looks like he's been resetting for a while and is now on a decent pace. Of course, as we speak, he takes a sizable death. But And Luca finishes the summit just under 45 minutes, so probably also looking to squeeze out another good time. I don't know what his standards are for the core, but I know you can get under 4 minutes and that would be a 48 for him. Yeah, should be doable to we got a slightly faster time here with this run. And we see Goof Goose lowering his time by about a minute here. Yeah. That that comp to that little pack around the 51 area. Wow, I feel like everyone's just going tit for tat there. I was buffered for a heart. There you go, Prof. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Toki Kumo. Yeah, we see Goof Goose improving by about a minute, moving a little bit higher into the top 16, and then Wonder jumping from 54 all the way to 51. Um, now also in that top 16 as well. And definitely worth keeping your eyes on Luca here for this core. Because I think it was, what, 4.30 or better to be improving upon his current posted time. And that might run a little bit tight depending on if there are any mistakes. But Luca definitely capable of at least low 4, if not even sub 4. 
I'm going to check up on Luca's ILPBs. I'm curious about that one. Yeah, I'll do some research on that. See what you can find. Luca has a 356.8 PB for Payday Full Clear here for the final chapter. So yeah, definitely some potential for low four times here. I've seen a couple deaths so far already. Oh. <laughs> Um, <laughs> having some menuing issues yeah maybe I, I shouldn't have looked yeah no you... i'm sure luke is gonna be fine um uh, you'll be fine got... Wait, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm so sorry yeah tio's doing pretty good uh heading into 3000 meter i uh, really excited to watch tio's run here in the top right corner because nothing nothing else is happening luke 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 yeah, Tio into downdraft here. Very exciting. Goof, Goof starting another run in Toki Kumo. Returning to map after here. hitting the strat. Oh my god. It's so over. It has never it been so over. over. <laughs> I don't blame you, Luca. And again, we'll note now, as Luca will be resetting, you'll see the timer in the bottom left corner. That is the timer for runners to start their runs. So once they hit zero, no more runs can be started, but runs that have already started can be finished. Yeah, and then after that point, our uh, remaining players will dwindle as they um, decide to give up on those last runs. Wonder if we're gonna get any uh, buzzer beaters tomorrow after the three-hour window ends. Yeah, always interesting to see who who clutches up and who just like gets a run and is like, I'm done. My one no reset of the day. That's good enough. I definitely have my eyes on Tio at the moment here. Been having a couple of deaths going through updraft, so it hasn't been as smooth sailing as I'm sure he would hope for. But. He does have a 5003 on the board with a 4701 RPB. And I'm thinking that he has a decent chance to be improving upon that uh, board's time here. Yeah, there's what, like about a minute left in summit here for him? Yeah, minute, minute 10, I think. I think. So that would be coming in at like a 4340-ish, maybe? For the end of summit mm -hmm. and then after that another four minutes this could be a 47 for yeah Tio. this could be a massive jump for him pretty standard tow if you ask me although we haven't quite still, still a lot of the run to first. go yeah oh no luca luca, going back to luca's in the, the lab <laughs> Luke, no, this is not what you want to see during oh, three hours no. of your time. You want to be doing runs, but clearly I mean, mental block in the strat in some degree, or also physically blocked by that big block. So true. Do you know how much this <laughs> saves? That's what from? I'm saying. Um, I am not fully familiar with how much this saves. I know Luke is going for a slightly slower version of it because you can opt to go and not do that first uh, corner kick off the spike wall and go down at the bottom, go for a pretty tough extended hyper to hit. But this version, I'm not quite sure. Somebody in chat might be able to inform us, but I thought it was in the range of half a second, just going for this part of it. You're finishing out. The end of summit pretty strong here it looks like indeed getting that 4330 that you were predicting a little bit ago very, very nice 433031 and 30, as we 30. watch tio's core will be comforted by vapo cookie and Sivadra. Which, uh, let's try to analyze here. Cookie's in the summit. Taking some check on the pace here. We got Cookie at a 49.10 file time right now with a 57.30 for boards PB. So that's about eight minutes to be, to be beating that. If we assume somewhere like four and a half for core and then a couple minutes for the rest of this chapter. Winnable. That's definitely looking beatable. Winnable. Yeah. 
Very winnable for Cookie here. And Vapo just hitting up Prologue again, for old time's sake. Or for reset's sake. Actually worth noting that both Sev and Cookie are uh, within 15 to 30 seconds of their PB already with their completed runs. So any oh, wow. note noteworthy improvements from them will likely be actual PBs. That would be Let's hope for the best. Awesome. We have seen a decent chunk of PBs already coming in from people's uh, first runs. I don't recall all the names, but there were at least three or four different PBs we got. Tio cleanly finishing up Barry 172 up in the top there. An iconic Barry. Another one that's changed a lot over the years. Yeah. I'm not having as much of a good time with the ice ball curtains you got going on there. But he'll be going into the vertical section pretty soon here at about 142 on the level timer. If I recall correctly, the only improvement we've had in these top seven runners is Isaac lowering his time. The rest uh, places two through seven have been static, hopefully until Tio gets a new time here. Surely he would not lose multiple minutes in the final segments of core. My goat would never. Never. Standing in lava there, practically. Oh, not quite Ooh. managing it, though. Yeah, the standing in lava yeah. part for that wall kick off the left side helps you save a dash and get a faster cycle at the end of the room here, but did not quite pan out. So having to go all the way over to the right there to grab more dashes. Oh, and missing the lava wall bounce as well. Can't quite hit the back up. Second try, though. Not the smoothest vertical section, but still looking to be a sizable chunk of time. Tio's going to be improving his uh, leaderboard spot here. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, what a back up. Goes down for the dash crystal and manages to grab it just inches above the lava. I'm sure that is Tio's standard backup for when that always happens to him. Never doubted for a second. Cookie finishing up the summit here with 47 berries, 27 deaths, coming at epilogue. What time do we have Cookie at now for this pace? 52.09. Winnable. Yeah, that's Very winnable. Uh, five minutes and 20 seconds or better for Cookie to improve on their leaderboard time. Meanwhile, Tio only with about three rooms left in core here. Yeah, I was looking to get that 47 and secure that second place spot. Well, not secure, but hold on to it for a little bit. Off cycle here, oh. probably going for a demo hyper there. Ooh. Looking a little bit uncomfortable, but he makes it through. <laughs> Yeah. Making it in the end. This is going to be... Is this going to squeeze in for a 47 here, I think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Somewhere like 47.53-ish. I don't recall how long the last room was here. I think 50, 51 if nothing goes wrong. I think you may be right. Beautiful. Very nicely done. Incredible. Good work, Tio. Now to jump him up about six spots, which is important for his seating in the bracket stage. That should be almost a, a guarantee of making it into the uh, next stage. Yeah, there there would need to be a lot of PBs for him to get pushed out of the top sixteen. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be very very impressive if uh, if he was no longer here for it. Um, the fifty yeah, be, the fifty was wouldn't have been as surprising. It would have been very cool to see it happen, but a little bit surprising. Forty seven should be a guarantee of safety for the bracket. So, so that was an 18 second improvement on the leaderboard. Didn't quite catch who. I believe that was Whips. Oh, nice.
and again, not that deep. We are getting to the point that runners who start a run now probably can't reset past Summit. Not that you'd probably want to reset that late into a run anyways, but we are getting lower on the timer. And remind me what the who the runners were that were only able to uh, be playing today. Can't make it to the second day. It is Tom, Ninja, Bullet Bill, and Ad. Mm -hmm. Taking a look at the leaderboard here, we got Tom still sitting at that 8th place spot with a 5102. So that's probably going to be comfortable enough to make it into top 16, but that's one that we'll be needing to look out for tomorrow. Throughout the day tomorrow, yeah, that might be a benchmark for people to catch up with. Mm -hmm. And who knows, Tom yeah, might be able to finish out with a better time than he currently has by the end of today. We'll see. Uh, quite a gap between 7th and 8th. I think that's probably the largest gap um, for the leaderboard. Quite a bit down, actually. Yeah, that definitely is a time for people to chase. Vapo being one of them, looking to get on a faster run here. Stuck in early game for a bit, but I yeah, believe he can get Vapo out. Does does not care about how many berries follow, berries follow him. He's uh, keeping all of them through intervention. Which, granted, this is like the Stenner thing you see through a lot of top runners, but... Vapo definitely trailing more berries than I'm used to seeing recently for this event. Four yeah, up here same. at the very top room, though. Calm, cool, and collected, though. With Battle in only inches from his face. Meanwhile, we got Cookie getting to the very end of core here. Have just a few more rooms to go. Looking like this could be the potential for improving upon his current leaderboard time. To be cutting it a little close though. His PB is a, a 57 flat. So I don't think this is in the cards for a PB here just quite. Uh, but improving on leaderboard could be possible. It might be. It might be if everything goes almost flawlessly from here to the end. It's maybe possible. Any good cassette room. Strong opening. Oh, very nice. Very safe strat. I like that cycle. 5632 on the tape touch. Cutting it close, but that looks like it can very well, if the ultras go well here, be a PB coming up for Cookie in the bottom right. Excellent. Gonna be an wow, eight second yeah. PB for Cookie. Congratulations. GG. GG. And we see four new runners here. Well, I think we've seen almost everyone at this point, but we got Gooms, Wibs, Mishy, and Average Imposter. Oh, Average Imposter is going to be doing the last room of 3A, which he just entered, and this is his first time in the room, and it's going great. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And the berries somehow already collected themselves. That's really cool. Well, that's quite the time save. We should figure out how to do that. <laughs> yeah. Make sure to ask him after the event is over today. See where he found this mysterious <laughs> future berry collection. Whips yeah, taking a five minute here. break. <laughs> oh, Letting us know yeah, up, on the, up on the top right. <laughs> Oh, actually, oh, I guess it's just needed. ended instead, rather. Yeah. Five minute break has been canceled. Wibs is on the warpath. Yeah, and uh, Mishi is one of the runners, one of the three runners now who doesn't have a full time. So, end of the oh, summit here. Comes. Finishing this run would be great. And I think I see, is, is it green? Do I see green? Oh, yeah. It's, it it's, sure there's is. a, there's a right like... column that's green and there's a left column that's red. Oh, so I do not know how to interpret this. Yeah, I'm not quite, quite sure either what I'm looking at there. To be I, I think the right. right column is segment time. The left column is is full file time. And well, if we take a look at Mishy's PB on file, it's an hour one minute six seconds. So this is looking out of reach to be a uh, Alred Berry's PB, but putting up a pretty close to PB. We got the three fifty two here. <laughs> the three fifty two in run. I, that I would believe. be incredible. I will say about core, 
her, just to potentially give you another shock of how things have changed, M. Sushi. The uh, recent, as in one week ago, record for Core is now 3 minutes 40 seconds and 388 milliseconds by Gooms. So that okay, chapter... Okay, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yep. That's, that a, that's a pretty good clear quite time. A bit. That's a pretty good clear time. It's a pretty good clear time, but that includes the berries. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I think I have a core clear time from like 2019 that's worse than that. Oh. <laughs> My PB is, I think, a 341 or a high 33x. I can't even remember. Let's Let me... take a look for LM Jacks here. If I did get a PB, it's probably unreported. <laughs> 341.9 is your... Oh, man. Oh, I'm Don't keep going down. <laughs> Gooms is faster with the berries. Wow. That is just wild how fast that IL is. Corpomichi looking pretty solid so far. Gooms is looking to be on a very solid resort pace here as well. Get into that heart save and quit at 301 on the uh, level timer. Yeah, very nice. I see did four he, games did he on the right now. Uh oh. That might be in question. Or he's just no. taking a bit bit of a handbrake. I wasn't quite looking for the text on the screen, but there is definite danger of save and quitting too early in that room. Oh, we are so good. We are so back. <laughs> Average Imposter getting out of 4A heart there now. Looking at splits, this didn't seem to be the best shrine for him, but he is still ahead, at least. Meanwhile, Mishi, hoping to finish up her first run here, going into the vertical section of core. Nerves of Steel not finishing a run until two and a half hours in. This is what we call trusting the process in the business. Oh, sometimes you just gotta take a spike to the face because you trust the process. <laughs> Yeah, and gets to it on the second try. I think Gooms had a little bit of trouble going into the later portion of Huge Mass, coming out of that checkpoint with a 412 on the chapter timer, I believe. But still, holding on a solid pace. Wibs having to do some more resets here, though, unfortunately. Or fortunately, maybe. Don't really want to carry out a run that's gone too too far off your pace. Maradon submitting a 45 second improvement, keeping them in the top 16. Now with a mid 52. Nice. I'm curious, I feel like we haven't heard from Isaac since it's 55. He's probably on a or 55, 45, probably on a 43 pace run right now. We could uh, pan to that for a second. Would, uh... <laughs> 43 pace, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I'm hopefully, yep. I'm hopefully uh -huh. joking and exaggerating. But... <laughs> There's a chance that after that 45, 28, he may have tapped out. I haven't taken a look at Isaac's stream. Yeah, I, I would not be break. surprised. Insight, There's... according to our insider information in chat, uh -huh. he's in sight. Oh, okay. And it's a double-edged sword of, like, if you care about the event, you're like, yeah, that's a time, that's fine. But if you're like, wow, I just had a run that was so close to PB, like, I want to do that again. I want to PB. I'm playing well, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you've, got the, if you've got the time budget already to play the category, might as well keep playing. Arb is, is one she? of those categories that doesn't see world records too frequently. Um, I know Bye Bye is 47, 12, stood as world record for a long time. Uh, then it was improved a few times until Coral 
It's, um, blew it out of 45, the water. 4534. Yeah, that 4534 was record for a long time until just recently that Isaac took it. Mishy finally finishing up her run here. Ooh. Gonna be coming in at about a 102.20, is that? Yeah, very nicely mm -hmm. done. Yeah, about a minute that, uh... off PB for her, yeah. I believe. Pretty good. Pretty solid. Getting Nothing a run up on the leaderboard. Back. And Gooms just finished a six flat resort arb a bit ago, heading into Ridge here now. 12.20 entry here. What are we looking at? All right. That seems about what he needs to... Um... Yeah, I mean, you can see he's within a second of his 47.22 PB, so looking like a very solid run for Gooms here. Meanwhile, average imposter Dave in the bottom right has pulled substantially ahead of his comparison. I believe that's a 59 on the splits, uh, which would be his submitted time currently. Um, so getting well ahead in mid-game here and uh, hopefully looking to extend that lead as he gets farther into the run. And Wibbs unfortunately running into Reset City issues as have happened to a few players here. Probably hoping to get a good start to a run near the end here and then just finish it out in the uh, little bit of allotted extra time. And in the meantime, we've also got Missy, Missy finishing her first run with a 102.20, not far from PB. Very nicely done. With the 6A route. I have my eyes on Gooms at the moment, looking at this shrine. I was going to say, me as well. Ahead it's of, always uh, a really fun checkpoint to watch. Ahead of his uh, PB out of resort. And just blazing through the Golden Ridge. Whoa. That's a crazy Crouch Hyper B hop. Yeah, that strat going for the uh, Crouch Hyper B hop into corner kick, if I remember correctly, was either a bub strat or a Reunata strat on recent recent developments, the past half a year or so. I don't remember quite how much it saves, but definitely a decent chunk. Right, I'm getting word from production that we actually missed a player today who was originally going to be only playing tomorrow. We've not had them on stream once, so hopefully we will get to see them shortly. Wow. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Little mix-ups here and there, okay. Doing our best out here. Oh, Nate going for, or sorry, Dave, rather, going for DCV route. Actually attached the wrong name to Average Imposter there. <laughs> Did not quite manage Dev's corner boost. But an interesting route to see all the same, going for the top areas from right to left, back over to the corner boost. Alrighty, here we go. We got Dragon on, on screen for the first time today. Sorry about that. But with a submitted 55 already, and looking like she's on a solid second round as well. Well, also we have Vertal and Enin both in core. Enin oh, yeah. might PB again. <laughs> if if I'm think... reading these timers right. I think that might cut a little bit too close to PB. Oh, wait, but this strat. Hmm. Didn't hit the switch there. Is, still, is he still going to make it? 
The suspense is killing me. We're getting. Ah. <laughs> Come oh, on, Twitch, help oh, me out a... here. Yep. No, Not quite the full cycle, I think, on that strat, unless that was intended, and I haven't seen that one before. This but should this... be another small PB, though. It's got the potential. Just got to get through the Ultra's room nice and clean here. Have 20 seconds to work with here, and I think it only takes oh, like, yeah. about 12. He's got this. Surely. Okay. That's insane. Wow. Eight second PB. What Just about it for Ennin here. Congratulations, Congratulations on another Ennin. PB. That's crazy. The consistency. Doesn't quite bring Ennin up to third place, but still holding really close to that top three podium right now. Yeah. Dragon finally getting the demo dash. It can be a little bit tricky at times for sure. We have Vertal with just a couple rooms to go as well in core now. Oh, going Ooh. for that risky ultra wow. corner boost. Oh my goodness. The, uh, the core He's going to commit again. Going again? Oh, oh. not quite. <laughs> Vertal! His 40 and 20 already so lost hard. a minute to this. No, oh you gosh. fat fingered a pause there now. Oh no, Vertal, please just finish your run out. Okay, he gets it. <laughs> first <laughs> try. First, fourth try. The fourth, first try. Coming in for what's looking to be a low 48 here. It's enough to bop Gooms? It's close. Yeah, it's let's really see. close. Yeah, definitely. 48 11. Be, Has to get the It's going to be a smooth finish. Oh, yep. He's got it. Barely. Vertal, third place. 10. By one yeah. second? One second. Incredible. Dragon look, Vertal. looking to finish up 3A here with potentially a sub 8, barring no long deaths. Oh, that is also, by the way, a Vertal PB of uh, 19 seconds. Very nice. Oh, so GG's on another PB in the event here. And we only have 20 minutes left in the reset period, so things are, I suppose, not crunch time. We have another day, but serious business now. You can't just uh, play the game. You have to decide, is this run actually worth continuing, or do I think I get a better chance now if I reset? Yeah, especially with players like Dragon here, and, you know, a few chapters in, you got to think, does this run have potential, or do I need to be trying to get one last Hail Mary in? Yeah, I'm not sure of uh, Dragon's late game potential, but I do know that this early game pace does not seem to be quite what you would hope for. So I think if a couple more mistakes are coming through, maybe a reset would be what you'd want to go for. have an epic on the chapter timer again here in the top left. I was hoping to get a look at the uh, file timer to see what the current difference is here. Don't know if this is PB potential or not. But the core is looking to at least be going okay so far. And meanwhile, we also have Bullet Dancer in the bottom right in the early stages of core here with a minute 10 on the file timer. Or an hour 10, excuse me. Hour 10 minutes. Minute 10 and final time were pretty, pretty good. Um, but that's looking like potential for maybe a couple minutes of PB as well. Bullet Dancer having a bit of trouble at Barry 172, though, here with the bumpers. Playing a little bit of pinball, trying to get the Barry here. Just gotta get back, back over to the left side. Oh no. There we go. <laughs> Long and arduous, but made it out without dying along the way. Oh, 
we have Chris and Tuarp start as well, trailing four berries behind him as he goes through here. It's a little bit of collecting going on, but a little bit more aggression than I would expect. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite him. Megan looking like she's got a very practiced shrine here. He's looking like some nice strats. Ooh. Yeah, very clean. Too easy. I feel like the 4A... Is there a better name for that strat? The, the heart wall bounce? The fast heart? Yeah. Fast heart. I remember learning that strat way back when, and I was like, this is impossible. How do people do this? <laughs> yeah, I think people's initial reference may have been how Bubs was going for it pretty often. But he, from the very beginning, had a very aggressive way of going about it. Going for like almost a wall boost, a little like climb jump, but then start holding, or neutral climb jump and start holding away from the wall. Yeah. And that one, a little bit more volatile, but like if you're used to it, it can work out. Pretty awkward strat overall though. Bullet Dancer with a minute or an hour, hour 13 <laughs> on the file timer coming into the uh, middle, middle portion about of the vertical section here. So still looking to be in the range for a minute or so of improvement on his uh, previously submitted time. Uh, uh, according to our, our commentator's info sheet, Dragon's PB is a 59.15. Oh, wait, so this was already uh, a three and a half minute PB for Dragon? <laughs> uh, Meanwhile, she's time? playing puzzless blockless here. Oh, well, wow. you, you know why this, this player incredible. wasn't playing today? Because this this is a YouTube video. They have Isaac Tay right now playing for them. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> and know what you're saying. <clears throat> then who's, then who's, who's Isaac Tay stream? Bye bye It's... <laughs> It just goes deeper and it deeper. It makes perfect sense. All of these UK players. True. Yeah, Bye Bye was shadow banned from SRC actually because he was gonna he was gonna play under an alt account a year in the future. Account sharing. Oh no. Dragon is playing incredibly well, going for a lot of insane strats. I have no idea. Yeah, I, I oh. have no idea how you just pull out a four minute, close to four minute, three minute PB. Well, she's definitely punching pretty high with her strats, so I think there's the potential there, and it just happened to work out pretty well on the uh, that recent run, then. Ah, geez, nice. This, this, this cliff face movement is really good. You can see Epic closing out an improvement of a minute and a half. Congrats, Epic. And Bullet and Dancer bullet. with just a couple rooms left. Yeah, what's we got a 117 on there right now, so this is also looking to be a couple minute improvement. Having to wait on the cycle here. Just a little bit of danger in the cassette room, but gets through it cleanly enough. We have Dragon entering the Mirror Temple right about 21 minutes in. Yeah, finishing at a 115.37 for Bullet Dancer. So that's a two minute improvement on previous posted time. GG, that's awesome. Oh, and this is also for Bullet Dancer. So this is now four minutes ahead of his previous uh, leaderboard PB overall, like on the actual, his actual RPB. Oh, wow. So four minutes of RPB for Bullet Dancer. GG's for that as well. We've seen a lot of improvement from a lot of runners today. 
and it's only day one. That's right. Still got another, after today, another three to four more hours of all red berries. Strawberry Showdown open stage. I'm curious to see how many people even choose to play after the three hour mark. It's a long time to be playing Celeste continuously. That's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we got a good handful of runners still in here. We have Marky finishing out a running core. Ooh, well, this is also on a very significant oof. time save base. Yeah, definitely going to beat that 116. This isn't even me commentator's curse. Like, I would be surprised if uh, he got a 12 minute core, but that would be impressive in its own right. A little bit of pinball going on here, okay. but getting out of 172 in the end. Without any dashes for most of the room. Ooh. I'm trying to gauge how everyone else here is doing. We have Gooms and Reflection. I can't tell. Yeah. Entered That's... Reflection at a low 26 for Gooms. And That's some like... temples, Temple Gaming otherwise. Yeah. How, how's Isaac doing? He's, uh, I assume he's on 41 pace right now. Like, <laughs> Goes down every time he mentioned it. He's going to be on 39 <laughs> he's pace gonna, next time. He's going to be sub 40. <laughs> I mean, I actually, I can't see the split. I, I would assume he's... Pro you know, I'm going to assume he's I'm gonna assume he's on world record pace to some degree. I'm just going to assume. Yeah, I'm not fully familiar with mid-chapter paces for Mirror Temple Arb. But I do know that... Let's see here. That's about... Oh, no, he did the RTM. Uh, never mind. All bets are off. I don't know what the times are then. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about the new route. Can't use the IL timer anymore. That that thing is the return to map in 5A star. That's, like one of, that's super clever. I don't know how we didn't find that sooner. It's steps, right? Well, sort of. The idea you for unlock it is oh, right, right. the bottom part of yeah. yeah, I spaced. It it makes so much sense in hub movement, but I just don't know why. I mean, doesn't how much time does it actually save? It's for people, small it was seconds, around right? two seconds for people. Yeah. And then for tasks, it was like a matter of frames, I think. No, initially oh, wow. it was, but the task got improved. It's like a second and a half for tasks too. I oh. can't remember the exact time now. Nice. Um, the berry, the berry collection route was improved, and yeah, it's just much faster overall. Well, shout outs to Math Hacker again for that route discovery. A similar RTM can be done in uh, 3A when playing Bingo. If you have to play 3A start grabless, getting certain berries can be difficult, but you can actually unlock mess and then go replay that last section of start uh, to get a couple more berries. Oh, oh, yeah, because you can just go through mess and still go back because the key door is going to stay open, huh? Uh, I think you have to go back right away because the wall closes behind you. The wall closes Same behind sort you. of deal. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hmm. So you t walk in a single step and just turn around at the door. Yep. You're like, you see Yoshiro and you're like, peace. I'm, I'll be back later. Oh. Mark, you taking a quick swim in lava? Next stop fine though for Barry 175. This is gonna be really awkward if they collect it and then it's like it's 175. <laughs> yeah. The no day counting <laughs> Pro pro tip to uh to sparring slash runners, if you collect that berry and it's not 175, no. you you have some problems. Marky at the top of the room, they're oh. jumping too early off of the core block and making it disintegrate with no jump boost. Having to get back through the start of this here. It's with collapsing. As well. okay, he, uh, he's getting back through it. He's got a getting lot of time it. to spend. Making his way, making his way. Okay, okay. We're up. We are up. For real. I always do see Isaac on the screen now, I believe. Chat has informed us that he's on quite another pace. Uh, I can see a little bit of green there. We'll on probably the get a better, better idea of it when he's entering rescue. Because I think after rescue enter, Isaac can get can definitely get sub minute on rescue. Probably closer to like 55 seconds even on a, a good checkpoint. And we can check the file time at that moment. 
Also, I think we just watched Marky demo dash underneath the switch at the end of that room. Oh no. <laughs> Getting a little bit trolled by hitboxes there. And also, we only have six and a half minutes for the reset period, so... Especially if you're like Marky, you probably want to just finish this run if you want to... If you even want to do another one, which... According to our sources, Marky has already PB'd, and they're about to get another PB, so honestly... Might, might be fine to just call it a day after that, but we'll see. But regardless, only six more minutes to make that decision. Oh, that's a really unfortunate bounce. <laughs> well, entering oh. rescue, Isaac was on pace for the best exit ever done from Temple ever okay. before. But yeah, maybe yeah, that's, not that's anymore, chill. by that's, a little that's, bit. That's chill, man. That's cool. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's, uh, phew. Uh, you know. Okay, yeah. Uh, best Temple oh. exit has not been recovered, unfortunately. Oh my Isaac god, that's a blunder. Dying at the blunder. Very... Maybe production was onto something like never showing us Isaac, because now the second he's on stream, he's uh, blundering. <laughs> that was an amazing pace up until this point. So sorry. Yeah, you know, this guy hasn't set any world records. He's not great at playing under pressure. True. <laughs> Gooms finishing up Reflection here with a 31-34 on the file time. So this could be... This is looking like... This is a good time from Gooms, yeah. Maybe PB potential, even. Because Gooms, Definitely. I believe, is comparing to real PB of 47-22. Yes. And is green on splits by at least 10 seconds there. Marky finishing up core, though. Coming in here with a final time of 112.52, improving by three and a half minutes on previous Very nice. time for the showdown here. That is insane improvement. Even more significant, there's enough time to start another run. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Round three. <laughs> Not too long to go on that, though. Gotta yeah, we just only get three back to back PBs. We might today. Although the period being the end of the three hours here, maybe that was a, a lot of effort. Oh, we got a showdown here. Oh, bit of a race Whoa. going on, yeah. Vapo seems to be ahead by about 20 to 30 seconds on IGT, though. They're very close on the leaderboard as well. 51.27 and... 51 46 where does that put them on the leaderboard though i think those spots might um might be very separated from each other could be deceptive with the small time just because of how dense that section was uh there are two spots apart with wonder oh, never in between mind. them oh yeah I'm still holding that top eight spot, by the way, with a 5102. Hasn't been challenged yet. Looking good for him. Eventually, we'll. Uh... Yeah, I mean, top eight at the end of the day today would be pretty pretty solid for make it into top sixteen tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Summit Arbor is such a cool chapter to watch. There's a lot of strat variety too, given having two dashes gives you a lot of uh, a lot of options. Goof Goose opting for the under strat for that berry on the left side there, getting that wall kick. This format uh, we'll get a little bit more familiar with throughout the bracket stage is that will be 1v1 races uh, versus players with relatively close PBs. See, seems like we're we're looking to shape up to have like a few minute spread. Um, I think you know with the bracket being double elimination, I think we should get some good matches early on still.
Very clean strats from both of these runners. Goof Goose, I think I've seen hit a death here or there, but Vapo has been very much clean going through this section. That was an interesting strat by Goof Goose to get that berry in the second last room of 500 meters there. Hadn't quite seen that route before. Oh, and going for the faster version up to the uh, last section here with the battle and orb. Participants now have one minute left to reset. Oh, Goof Goose missing the top coin and opting to just start the room over there at the end. Uh, a little bit of a struggle getting out of the room as well. Some accidental supers trying to dash up. And while not too relevant to these runners, 20 more seconds. And day one reset period is coming to a close. Isn't it satisfying to watch a timer tick down? It really is. And you count down and you go, three, two, one. Uh, yippee! We did it, guys. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, day, that's, day, that's day one resets. So now everyone's walked into the runs they're currently doing, and the timer's going up? What? Uh-oh. <laughs> this, is, this is insane. I'm not sure what to make of this. Regardless a negative now. reset period. Time that gets subtracted from the end of your run. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, I'm biased in terms of I only see what production shows us, but I feel like a lot of runners are pretty deep into runs, although I'm sure there are a handful who are in City right now. That would not surprise me if there were like 15 people in City right now. Yeah, trying to make the most of their uh, allotted time. You see Vapo maintaining this half checkpoint lead still. Um, about the same IGT on the clock for both of these runners, actually. That's actually remarkable. Only a couple seconds apart. Yeah, Goof Goose uh, has continued to run into unfortunate deaths along the way, but Vapo is holding relatively consistent in comparison. See the top 16 now with a 52-42 by Tokikumo in the 16th position. Um, I will mention, it's already been said in chat, and I was speaking with Isaac the other day about this, uh, but he is unfortunately unavailable for the entire finals weekend, so he will not be continuing into bracket. So we actually can watch out for the top 17 here. Which Whoa. we see Salt with a 52-45. Unfortunate that he can't make it, but... Happy he got to play in the open stage, at the very least. Makes the tournament a lot more interesting. Now we can actually debate about who's going to win. Ufku's going for the triple demo okay, there so in the 1500 she... meter barrier room. <laughs> That was that was a pretty crazy series of demos. Yeah, do you have to be like in the very top of the pixel when you start it, or does it just kind of work? Um, it's fully buffered if you enter from a specific spot in the previous room, but buffering it can still be a little awkward because of the dash crystal freeze frames. Okay. The idea in the previous room is just like a an extended demo hyper from a certain spot that just kind of sets itself up if you enter on the right side of the wall. <laughs> still very tough though, getting that timing consistent for that many dashes in a row. Yeah, and just looking at Goof Goose's splits tells a story. A sad story, although only 20 seconds, and with that uh, BPT still well under. Well, well under their Strawberry Showdown Summer Verb time. A little tight for that PB that they were probably once wanted. Probably still want, honestly, but. 
This would still be a very important run to close out, though, for them. Um, and we'll never know if it'll get done because we yeah, have we'll see on the, we'll see on the leaderboard. On screen. We'll catch it on the leaderboard. We have Tom, who's this is their last run of the whole event because they're not playing tomorrow. So pretty important for them. If he uh, wants to get a good time here. He's got to be content with whatever he ends off with today. Meanwhile, Tanuki does not have a time. I don't know if they were AFK or if they were uh, just yeah, re setting really high standards themselves. They were AFK for, I believe, two and a half hours. Oh. Um, oh, and showed no. up here towards the end, and we're, we're getting their, uh, oh, their one no. run for the day, and then they'll be back tomorrow. All right. So. <laughs> You know, life happens. Looks like we're representing Canada with this uh, this set of players this yeah, time. Yeah, shout out. As well out. as Celeste Mountain from Salt. Yeah, Celeste Mountain is in is in Canada, so. Oh, that's the uh, theming still holds. Nice yeah. job, production. Good job. Incredible. <laughs> yeah, remember when we had a uh, bullet, bullet, bullet in TNT? Oh, that was, <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good. Very happy to have seen that. Bullet Dancer, Bullet Bill, Bullet Inf Infi, and yep, yep. TNT Go Bang. That is a good username. It, it certainly does that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think it's more like a boom than a bang. Oh, okay. That's a idea for alt account names. <laughs> I just have to be a contrarian. See how Salt fares for the berry room here. Nice and clean, bopping the Seeker and getting Theo up to that switch. We're going to be a decent time for 5 arp here for Salt. Should be coming in somewhere around 9.20, 9.30. And yeah, Salt's probably a good runner to focus on because he's barely out of that top 16, but is obviously capable of uh, breaking in. So definitely want to see a good time coming out of well, him. It is top 17, reminder. So Salt oh. is technically still in the people who will qualify. Okay. Yeah, with a minute minute buffer beneath him as well. Who knows, that minute could be getting closed by one of these other players behind him, though. I'll have to talk to Isaac. Maybe I can take his spot in the round of 16. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's how you that works, unfortunately. Freeloader? My gosh. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Stealing I... content? Stealing what? the places? I could, a, I could get a 44 arb if I tried. Okay, I was sorry. talking with Isaac about the option of pre-recording runs, but we worked out it was going to be like pre-recording a dozen runs for the final weekend. It was like, yeah, maybe let's not do that. <laughs> Yeah, that was just for the contingencies of what losers finals and bracket reset and all that. Yeah, like if he lost winners finals and then ended up in losers finals and then needed a bracket reset, yeah. So <laughs> wait, that's really funny actually. You're recording <laughs> an entire tournament, but you have to be prepared for all the possibilities of a double elimination bracket. Yep, yep. <laughs> Playing like six hours of ARB on that Thursday and Wednesday beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> but that's funny. I can imagine like hypothetically like if you couldn't play the tournament and you're watching it back and you're like okay i know my seventh res no reset was like really good so if i get into the losers bracket here if this player does poorly in this match like i'll i'll be fine this match right <laughs> <laughs> there's just a whole like uh watching chain of events from out of town yeah yeah <laughs> Tanuki finishing old site. Very cool. And Salt is heading to 6B, which is very exciting. I'm curious to see, too, Detroit is the other runner who uh, doesn't have a time on the board if uh, we know if they're in a run, or maybe they can just straight up be done for the day. You never know.
Yeah, I'm sure there are plenty of people who may have gone into their last reset, but just decided that it wasn't worth it to continue if they got a run they weren't happy with and just ended there. Alrighty, I believe we're going to be getting a swap here to some new players. We keep switching it up Ooh, as uh, as others Goodbye, end Canada. stream. Goodbye, and Canada. And hello, everyone else. Ooh, a bunch oh. of fast runners here. This is a rare Isaac Red split I see in the top left corner. Epic fail. <laughs> Epic fail indeed. But uh, this is a lot of uh, our top pack here. We have... Oh, that is an annoying death from Luca. That's just... Just miss buffering the right dash and getting slammed he saw it ahead of time so just instantly reset but frustrating and tio is in a 6a well wonder is finishing out a run and this is definitely oh well very this well is ahead of pace really actually, good right time here, yeah. actually this is oh. to... what's wonder's pb again i think Let's wonder see. is just above the 50 minute mark so this is a. Uh... Hopefully, Wonders first. I'm, I'm actually. We're just gonna see how the run goes. I would never commentators curse. Never. Matthew Sushi 100 could not. Yo, getting that tape touch at 101 on the IGT. And Luca closing out 6B here, just under 32 minutes. Uh. Prospects does that put them for this late game profit? You oh, know numbers. Wonder uh, for so Luca, did you say? Yeah. Well, I think Luca's capable of like eleven twenty and four ish, so fifteen twenty ish from this point. That was a thirty two ish entry you said. So. Whoa. Yeah, mid forty seven is is possible for Luca if okay. things go really well, but they would have to go really well. So basically, this is a mid forty seven, is what I'm hearing. Yo, watch out. Could be getting knocked off the podium here if Luca has a good time in these last couple chapters. But there is a lot of room for mistakes in Summit. It is a very long chapter here. It is checking in on those times, by the way. Luca does have an 1109 Summit RPV, and we checked earlier for Core with a 356. So if it went that well, that would even be a low 47 from Luca. Dang. Simply just match all your PBs in a real run. <laughs> it is that easy. Theoretical best. Wonder looking to finish out a mid 50 here. Had some unfortunate deaths in uh, the last couple sections of Core, but. Still finishing out strong, it looks like. Ooh, very nice corner boost. That was a really clean cycle. One last save and quit for the road. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta squeeze that last bit of time save out. Yeah, definitely not the core they were looking for on the space, but that moves them up comfortably into the top eight. Yeah, very done. good run from Wonder. Mm -hmm. About 25 seconds off of RPB, I believe. Meanwhile, Teal was struggling a bit in early 6B here. Oh no. We are in the falling section at the moment. Not quite to the demo, but still at 2.23. Tio would be hoping to get out of this checkpoint in the low 210s or high 20x, but lagging a notable amount behind that. So 6B has not been going so well today. All right, Isaac so Isaac the hands the keyboard to Gooms here, right? And then, then we mm -hmm. see a world record. That's how this works. I was, I'm looking at this, I'm like, he he's not going to uh, world record or PB probably, but he can beat the 45-28 time with a 4-minute core. 
which I will I will just uh, I, I will quit speedrunning Celeste if that happens. I don't know. For the record here, Isaac's former PB is I would say of his IL PBs the least optimized, sitting at a, a 355. So if he was to go off of his own PBs alone there, I don't think it's quite possible for him to be holding close to a actual PB, but I, that yeah. is still a little bit of room to be beating the 4528. Just would have to be a near flawless core. Bro is just the CEO of Arb Man. I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh no, Tio dying at the very end of the, this long rock bottom room here. That was about a 15 That's second really death, bad. I think. Missing the coin is going to get on the backtrack. All right, the feather bump. You love to see that. Nice little backup for bumping off the ceiling with the feather. Doesn't get hit by the fireball on the way out. Fireball? Force ball? Is there a name that people give those? The little balls that battle and is shooting at you? I don't fireball? Know. I, I don't feel like they're called fireball. <laughs> bullets? We need more bullets on this stream. Let <laughs> more oh, bullets on this stream. <laughs> let, let me send Maddie a DM real quick. Let me see. I'm sorry, Vapo just missed PB by six frames. <laughs> no, Vapo! <laughs> but that is a two minute improvement for the session. <laughs> 49 15? Oh, wow. wow. Very That's... nicely done, Vapo. We just talked about Wonder getting top eight. That's tough. Top nine now. The top That's 17 a... threshold has not changed, but uh, the times in that, in that window of. Uh, you know, like 7th to 12th are definitely getting faster. Yeah, so far from what I can tell, Luca is not having the best of times in Summit. I'm going to check in on uh, Summit IL paces to see how this is matching up just about. And it's been quite a few deaths. Um, probably still 48able, though. Probably. Yeah, this is looking to be about 40 seconds behind in Summit, maybe a little bit more even for Luca currently. Definitely got to shake off the nerves here and close out uh, with a good last few checkpoints. Looks like with uh, Tio's 11 death 6B, he's needing a miracle Summit now. AKA average TO summit. True. I believe in my boy. He my does goat. have an unverifiable 1043, I believe it was. Accidentally had a variant mode or something similar on. What? I believe TO98, speedrun.com super moderator, would cheat in this way. Okay, hypothetically, if you guys would cheat a Celeste run, how would you do it? <laughs> Who is this for? I'm just thinking, like, because obviously variants being on is not allowed, but, like, what variant would genuinely help you play the game better that you could genuinely disguise as gameplay? Uh, low friction? Mm. Question mark? <laughs> That actually Maybe. might be like, somewhat hard to detect, but... I'm also... gonna put on... I'm gonna put on 360 dashing, but, like control it the whole time and like barely curve my dashes you're gonna be like the uh <laughs> like the players for track mania who have their what oh, 20 40 yeah, 60 percent turning but so you're gonna have your like 80 degree dash <laughs> how funny would it be as a moderator if you're just watching a run and all of a sudden someone dashes at like 70 degrees <laughs> <laughs> you it would be very confusing genius content ideas you know those videos uh, those Minecraft videos where people are like, Minecraft's weirdest fake speedruns, but it's like not actually submitted fake speedruns, it's just people like, making runs where they just cheat as blatantly as possible and acting like their friend did the speedrun or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, just the silly, silly content of excessive cheating just to like, point it out and laugh at it. Yeah, or... I'm, I'm doing that for Celeste, that would be good. Anyways... Isaac just finished up a 45-37, I believe it was. Bad, go, awful, so. terrible. <laughs> Didn't quite Not match good. up to his other run. <laughs> and a new set of runners here. If 
on an, with some of the final people to be finishing out their runs. Oh, we got Sir is on very good pace. Minus seven minutes. Oh yeah, looking very good. One might say they're popping off. Perhaps getting an explosive. I'd say this PD. is a uh, quite the banger. <laughs> <laughs> we have no fucking luck. <laughs> Um, anyways, we also have Sir Newt finishing off the summit, Mishi in Golden Ridge, and Mardon in, uh, in the Mirror Temple. Yeah, depending upon Newt's, uh, you know, core strats and, and general comfortability with that level, they may be able to clutch out a small improvement here. It's going to be tight, though. Maradon with the RTM route, it looks like, in the start of 5A. I'm not entirely sure what their entry would have been. Taking a look at Sir Newt's time, he would have to be getting a 429 in core to, or better to improve upon his uh, current submitted run for the Strawberry Showdown here, but only has a 449 on the Celeste leaderboards on speedrun.com. So that he would wins be a these. Pretty major level improvement. He does win these. We would love to see it. I have full faith. My goodness, TNT coming a little bit too close to some of those ice balls for my comfort. <laughs> yeah, bouncing back and forth on the middle of them is something I yeah, remember Jackson, doing a long time ago. Feels very you're just dangerous. You're not now. as good as a player, so it's okay. You, you don't know That's how to take true. these calculated risks. That's true. You couldn't be implying that Alan Jax is washed. What? <laughs> no. He was never good to begin with. Oh. <laughs> a devastating blow from co commentator M. Sushi. See in yeah, chat that the... average imposter got an 18 minute PB today. What? <laughs> 18 minutes? That's chill. <laughs> Let's take a look. An hour 14 was posted PB before. And imposter now submission a time is yeah. a 59.27 on the. Oh, 56 now. Yeah. Wow. Big improvement for average imposter. Congrats. Yeah, not too bad. Honestly. I would have gotten a 20 minute PB, but that's just me. Is there any category that you have played so little that you can still get a 20 minute PB? Uh, I don't think any main categories. Maybe like all, all chapters. I don't think maybe? I have. I don't think I have an all chapters run with farewell. There you go, free mm. money. Free, <laughs> free money. Infinite I'm, PB. I don't have an all cassettes run. Um, I think my Benny percent PB is really bad. I have a 44 in Benny percent, so I could PB in Benny percent by 10 minutes. That would be epic. You have that would take a fair amount of work, though. About to finish up here. Looking to be about 6 minutes for a uh, submission PB here. Is that also yeah, 6 minutes PB overall? Run. Their PB before so, the yeah. start of today was a 127. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 6 more minutes of PB for TNT here. Yeah, very nicely done. Really popping off. Alrighty. Bullet Dancer JJ, about a minute and a half ahead of the 115 there. It's a nice pace to be on in mid game. Taking that safe and collecting those berries. Very understandable. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have Maradon here with the 52.23 posted time so far. Gonna see in just a sec how close Maradon is to top 16 because this could be 
the point where Meridon needs to be, or well, top top 17 rather, because we don't have them all coming in. Oh, Meridon's in at 52-23 at 15th place. So holding on to the qualifications for bracket, but that could yeah. potentially in day two be a dangerously close margin. Yeah, yeah closing out this run. There. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Closing out this run as a 51 would be very nice going into day two. All right, yeah, and we are uh, 23 minutes into our past the reset period. So all these runners now are going to be finishing up their runs where hopefully hopefully everyone's in like Mirror Templar Beyonds. Um, I believe the plan is the, the stream is dipping out at the hour mark, but the runs that are still live will be finished and verified for uh, yes. on leaderboard for tomorrow. So. Yep. Yeah, we may cut out a little bit before the hour mark too if there's just not many people left. Um, but everyone who's still playing uh, has, a, has the chance to still finish that run. Um, and have referees watching them uh, to make sure that they're yeah, I made, stuff out correctly. I made it. I made it known before commentary that if we're like at the forty-minute mark and I'm watching someone with an hour ten RPB, I will bully them. So it's more for their sake. <laughs> <laughs> but we're here to keep the players safe from MC. Yeah, he's I'm, a dangerous I'm man. Dangerous. He must be contained. Oh my god, Mishy barely grabbing onto the side of the spring there to save the uh, losing the seed. I bet she didn't even realize that she recovered it. And Sir Newt finishing up with a 56 4x. So not quite getting in another PB for the event here, but still a solid run. Sure, it feels good to finish off with another one that was decently close. Getting one more rep on late game before tomorrow. That's something that's also important in a format like this, is making sure you're not resetting in city for an hour and then getting to, you know, Reflection and Summit having not played them all day. Yeah, it's weird because, like, you can have a really good city time and for some reason the next 50 minutes of the game just don't come naturally. It's weird how that works. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you'd think I could just play city city checkpoint start any percent and do that and then the rest of the game would just like get inserted into my brain but turns out you actually have to work hard on all of the checkpoints and screens and levels just You're saying weird. I have to practice to get better uh, i'm not sure if i'm like able to make that conclusion myself but that's what trends are pointing to we'll do some more research yeah get we'll get back to you guys on that current data indicates <laughs> it's the kind of thing where I mean granted 6B is a bad level and no one likes it but I don't like 6B because I'm bad at it and I also don't practice it because I don't like it but it, <laughs> it, it's circular reasoning you know if I practice it I'd get good at it and then maybe I would like it but until then 6B will remain a bad level Forever and always. Until then. Another bullet layout we got going on here with Bullet Dancer and Bullet Bill. Oh, this is the one we wanted for the ages. Got Bullet Dancer just about halfway through Mirror Temple here. And Bullet Bill in the very early stages of Reflection. Not quite sure how their paces compare here. But we do see at least Bullet Dancer is a minute and a half ahead on splits, so the run seems to be going pretty well for him so far. And we'll have Bullet Bill going into 6B here in just a moment. I'd be interested for someone to go through uh, our journal submissions channel and tally up how many runners were playing 6A and how many were doing 6B. Ooh, yeah, that yeah, would I'd be like interesting data. Too. Someone who's just sitting around right now wants to take a look at that, that would be cool to know. So we had Bullet 
Phil entering 6B here at about 40.23 on the uh, file timer. And that's looking roughly around almost like sub hour pace if the rest of the uh, rest of the run goes well. So that could be potential for a big improvement, but again, Summit, Core, 6B, all of these chapters can be very difficult and punishing towards the end of the run here. So we'll see what happens. But either way, it looks to be going pretty decently for Bullet Bill. Oh wait, no, did I, I may have misread this accidentally here. My mistake, I was looking at chapter exits. <laughs> <laughs> so I was off by uh, five or so minutes here. More like an hour, maybe five or six minutes then for Bullet Bill. I think when I started playing 6B and ARB, I played ARB so little that I don't even, like, know at all. It just didn't process. I Yeah, I, you asked me earlier, Prof, when was the last time I played ARB, and um, the funny story is, as, as you definitely know, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was a Celeste 100% world record holder back this in my true. day. I uh, the took it from my main man. It? Yes, 148. 13? 11? Somewhere in there. I took it from uh, the legendary high octane speedrunner Oddbod in the year of our Lord 2020. So, uh, you know, clearly a lot of work went into that. So I practiced a lot of full clears. But before that, I really hardly played ARB. And um, as a result, like, I think my current ARB PB was just like after playing 100% for like four months or something, I just did a random ARB one, ARB run one day, got like a fifth, I think my PB is like a 52 or 51, just got that first try and then submitted it. And, like, <laughs> I, and I was like, I'll beat this tomorrow. And then I did not beat it tomorrow. <laughs> is it tomorrow yet, M Sushi? Yo, what is it? What is tomorrow? This, bullet Dancer, what is this room? What? This wait, is the two dollar room. Wait a minute. Yo, we are <laughs> this is the two dollar room. The, uh, <laughs> no, man. Search skip is no, no, not no, 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 no. Bullet, here. bullet, bullet, bullet Dancer. You need to DM me after this stream. I will put you on <laughs> some insane tech. This is <laughs> unforgivable. <laughs> the lore there is that we M Sushi put up two dollars for a good strat in that room. I believe Bubba yeah, claimed it. Oh, we saw a secret kill. Secret too. <laughs> what is Incredible this Incredible bounty. Yeah, the lore behind the room we just saw. There is no reason to go to this room unless you need the key. And uh, because we do search skip, there is an extra key. I think there are two extra keys, no? Or is there only one extra Yeah, there key? are three total you can grab. Right? And you only need one for uh, for the berry. So there's there's no reason to go to that path to get the key because there are no oh, berries on that path. Let's go, dude. <laughs> this, Where, what are we? Wait, what is there's happening? no way this guy doesn't do search skip. There's no way. I I, I I told you I'm gonna bully the runners, bro. We can't do this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh no. They they're they're going up. Okay. The, the berry, berry is still up there. Then he's get the berry. Get the berry. I I I believe we're just finishing the chapter with two keys. Let's fucking go. What? what? Oh what? my god! What? Never mind, I take it all back. Keys. He's so cool. <laughs> no, this he is, is the coolest arm runner of all time. I don't... What? Alright, Bullet, if you're watching this back, tomorrow you save 40 seconds by skipping the two keys. You got <laughs> this. Okay, yeah, just some lore. Um... That one room I call the two dollar room that I started freaking out that Bull Dancer was doing. There's literally lore that like in 2018 or 19, um, I joked around like one day I was just playing around with search because that's a room that I've never seen before in the game, and I was like, I'll pay two dollars so someone can find a strap for this room. And then Bobai spent like an hour and a half labbing the room, and I, I gave him two dollars. Yeah, it's a pretty good hourly rate. Strat. Won't lie. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Maybe Celeste a good Lavin hourly rate in, like, you. the 1920s. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm exaggerating it. I think it took less than that, but I, I could be wrong. While we were talking about that, Luca got a minute faster time here, now with a 48.18. That's true. Securing a much higher seed. Ooh, Chris is also on pace to get a significant improvement here. 
Ooh, exciting. He got that 59 pretty early, but has not improved it yet. Yeah, Checking Chris. back in with Merida, and this looks like a 35 flat summit entry. According to Chris's splits, I, I feel like that looks like I'm seeing minus two minutes, and that sounds about right. This could be somewhere in the range of 56 to 57 for Chris coming up. Yet another chill run. So chill. Average strawberry showdown summer of ARB speed run. Minus two minutes. Echo Chris PB 109.22. Wow. It's good well. work. <laughs> All in a day's work. <laughs> another 10 minutes tomorrow, right, Chris? I think that 10 minutes might be just a little bit harder. Where is Marky going? <laughs> okay. I'm excited to see how this Maradon run ends up. This might be uh, one of the most significant for placements uh, left to finish up today. Yeah, I agree. I think this I mean, is roughly around a 13 pace for Maradon right now for Summit. So that would be somewhere around 48 into core. So yeah, this is looking like it could be a could be an improvement coming up. We'll just have to see how well these next two chapters go, though. Oh, please. That's, uh... Wait, Maradon RTM'd at the top, Barry? Oh. No! Oh, no. Oh, or was that the save and quit? Did I see that? No, that no, was I... an RTM, wasn't it? Oh, no. Save and quit puts you back to the title. <laughs> That's the start over from the beginning of 1500. I'm so sorry, Maradon. Yeah, wrap it up. <laughs> That's just like you. That's an immediate, almost fifty seconds to a minute lost right there. Meanwhile, here's how Ickle Chris can still claim first place. <laughs> um. Uh, time machine? I think that's the only way. Maradon is gone. <laughs> Goodbye, Maradon. I, I, that's so completely that's, understandable. That, that's understandable. I would yeah. alt F4 too. Not gonna lie. I would I would say that's not only understandable, but rational. That is, that is intended behavior there. <laughs> Was there a Coral Reef 100% world record that had an RTM in uh, Farewell? Like half a minute into reconciliation or something. Oh, I, you are you are onto something with that yes. one. I am hunting through corals clubs. I swear that that's real. The good news is Epic is here to give us some epic gameplay, and Marky is here to mark key, uh, to mark mark these coins here in the mirror <laughs> temple, and Ico Chris is here to uh to uh. Mhm. Mm uh huh. And Bla Blaze Kalava <laughs> is, oh, no. is here to, uh, no. <laughs> is here to, he is to, spent. Uh, <laughs> digging yeah, you guys, digging deep. Yeah, no, this is, this, uh, this is too much for me, guys. This was, uh, you know, if production put Epic in the bottom right corner, that would have never happened, but. Epic still playing with just a chapter timer? What's going on, refs? Perhaps was unreachable throughout the course of this. Are these gold splits from Chris? 
I think so. It looks like it. I want to note too here that uh, we're 38 minutes past the reset period, and Marky is only 36 in the in-game timer. And uh, the in-game timer is real time, so that means uh, he cheated and reset after the reset period. I just want to point that out. I did manage to find the clip of the unfortunate farewell RTM for Coral. Shared that in chat. <laughs> Pretty early in recon. But yeah, I, I don't blame Maradon in the slightest for tapping out after that 1500 meters RTM. All right, I'm getting word from production that we've got about 10 players left, uh, but we're going to be switching over to Chris because most of these other players are still uh, about 20 plus minutes away from finishing. So we're going to watch the rest of Chris's run and then call it a day. Uh, once again, those other players are still fine to finish. It just will not be restreamed here. So let's cheer on Chris as he hopefully gets a couple minute let's improvement go. here. It go let's Chris. go, Chris. Do we get a 175? Can I get a one in the chat if you're a fan of Ickle Chris? Two in the chat if you're a super mega fan of Ickle Chris. And a three in the chat if you're Ickle Chris's number one fan. <laughs> We're going to have a fight for number one fan out here. <laughs> uh oh. I don't know, folks. I think there can only be no one number one, Echo Chris, number one fan. It's okay. We had like 20 ghosts today. I'm sure we can, we can figure something out. We got a whole farm with all the goats here. <laughs> <laughs> a farm of only goats is an interesting farm indeed. <laughs> all right. I guess all I do is farm Celeste World Records. Echo Chris with hundreds of his fans behind him. Marching towards the end of the core here, my goat grabbing the feather, weaving through the fireballs, hitting the switches, another feather, two dashes to the right, grabs the feather, hits the the uh, the switch, narrowly avoids those. Let's see the cassette room strats. Up hyper. This is a pretty classic cycle. Waits Never mind. out the cycle. No longer a classic cycle. Saves his dash, jumps over, beautifully maneuvered cassette room from the one and only Eagle Chris. Did you expect anything else? Not at all. Our goat. Our goat, indeed. A little less speed than he bargained for on that ultra, but that's okay. The big chain coming in, and it is looking pretty good. A pretty good day to be an Echo Chris fan, as that is a new All Red Berry's personal best. Two and a half minutes improvement. Congratulations and GG to Echo Chris and all of our runners for today. All righty. Very well done. And from everyone here today at the Celeste Community Channel, that is going to conclude the stream today. Of course, there are a small handful of runners still going, and uh, they will be continuing their runs. And if there are any crucial updates on those, we will. they'll be on the leaderboards that you can see. I believe there's a command in the chat to see the leaderboard website. I could be wrong. But, um... Yeah, regardless, we're going to head out, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be here three hours earlier, so that's going to be 9 a.m. Pacific time, uh, noon Eastern time, and uh, those are the only two time zones that exist, so I'm sorry for anyone living anywhere else. Uh, and, yeah, we're going to be doing the exact same thing, and hopefully the stakes will be higher now, as uh, it will be the last day of the open stage before we head into the bracket. So again, if you're not already following the stream, hit the follow button so you get a notification when it's live tomorrow. You can also just set an alarm for 18 hours or 17 hours and 10 tomorrow. minutes. Yeah, so uh, we'll be here. And uh, that's about all I have to say. Jax, Prof, you guys got anything? Happy to be here for day one. It's been exciting so far. Looking forward to the finish tomorrow. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks guys for tuning in and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Same place three hours earlier. Enjoy your day and, uh, you know, eat some strawberries. Stay fresh out there. We're going to be raiding Ponkel. See y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.